drip. Woo! Trash Taste has drip now. Let's go. You can get your very own Trash Taste merch now. We have promoted Apari a ton on this channel and we love their clothes. We love it so much that we decided we'd partner up with them and make some Trash Taste slash Apari merch. Hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look God, at I me. love that design so much. Oh my God. So you, we have the normal, I'm wearing the regular Trash Taste design and Garn over there is wearing the After Dark I've got design. the After Dark version. Ooh. Ooh, so cute. But don't worry. If you're living in a hot area, we also have t-shirts as well. Look at Connor wearing his beautiful lavender one. This is my personal favorite, my recommendation. It looks very nice. We literally needed to get this custom dyed to get trash taste purple. That trash taste purple design. Oh, so clean. But if you need something a little more cozy, (gasps) you know, you're thinking like you want to get a bit warm. Hell yeah. Trash (gasps) taste sweatpants. Sweatpants. Now these are the uh, prototype version. So the the embroidery isn't on there, but there will be a trash taste logo embroidered on it. I gotta say, boys, this is some high quality. Dude, everything Speak, is so comfortable. Speaking of the embroidery, look at this. Look, look how cute this it's is. It's so cute. You have the Apari little yeah. character sitting on the trash taste and after dark. And set. you got embroidery on the t-shirts yeah. as well, it's, so you don't have to worry about it fading because yes. it's embroidered in. Look at it. It can never fade. You know, it is obviously a little more pricey than our previous merch, but it is such high quality. You are going to get really the best good. quality merch from. And yeah. these are people who have bought Apari stuff before, as it normally sells out whenever we promote it. Yep. You'll know the Apari stuff is good quality Mm. and I promise it's worth the price tag. And guys, we heard you. We heard you like the postcards. So we decided to give everyone a personalized postcard this time. Signed by the boys. But the first thousand will get a special postcard. We're not gonna spoil what's on it, but they're gonna get a special one. The SSR of postcards. And of course they're gonna be numbered. We're still waiting for number 69 and number 420 (laughs) to make themselves known for the Trash Taste Mugs. Come on out. So what are you waiting for? Go and get your merch by using the link down below. And uh, yeah, hope you uh, get dripped out with the boys. But be quick because there's only three weeks in pre-order. Oh shit, Joe, I forgot to mention that. I forgot there's only three weeks left to grab These will not be around forever. So click that link in the description, grab them while you can. Orders end at the end of the year. So it's easy for you to know when this deal ends. 2022 rolls over, you will not see these merch. So grab them quick, links in the description. Get that trash taste drip. Get your trash taste merch, do it. Drip out. On with the episode. I have zero expectation, man. If I get 10 Twitter followers after this, I'm fucking happy. It's like, there must be something wrong with you, that's the case. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's his fault. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely his fault. Yeah, it's like, well, fuck that guy. I'm dead on the inside. Welcome to Trash Taste Podcast. Wow. That was that was an intro, Joe. Yeah, that was definitely <laughs> an intro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys were like, oh, what happened to the Joey intros, man? I, I want them back. So I brought them back. Is, I hope is, you're happy. Is that, that a Joey that intro? Me, that was a Joey intro. We've gone from like combini, I'm not going to say the words, to uh, I'm dead inside. How, how, did, how did we go from one side to what the a, other, Joe? It makes no tragic sense. Tragic evolution. Yeah, that's what happens, man. When you we, do Trash we, Taste for that long, that's what we happens. We have devolved. We've devolved. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm Joey, and as always, I'm with the other two people who are dead inside, Gunn and Connor. Uh, you're yourself. making me dead inside. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Who's our guest, Joey? Yeah. I don't know. Shit. Introduce yourself. Well, what's up, guys? It's your homie, John, aka Sushi Kebab Guy. <laughs> nice to meet you all today. How are you, man? I'm good, bro. You Thank are you so nervous. Me. It's so funny. <laughs> I <have to laughs> shit myself, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so Jan is uh, a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours, um, and you are, or you were, a host. Indeed. In yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, how, I, we met you through mutual friends, but like, yeah. you, you know, when you, you know, when you meet someone in your life and you just think like, wow, you're one of the most interesting people I've ever met. Well, thank you. Because like you're, Jan's one of those people who you, when, whenever you go to a party, whenever you speak to him, he'll have a new story every fucking time. <laughs> and like, I don't know how you do it, but like, cause we've hung out so many times and every time we hang out, you come out with a new story about something that's happened in your life. Yeah. So yeah. like, even on this podcast, there's so many questions I want to ask about about you're just like life experience here in Japan because yeah. like unlike any of our previous guests, Jan doesn't have an internet presence. True. So, yeah. Yet. 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 So you know. Yet. Yeah. So understandable that uh, he is a bit nervous. So yeah. go go easy on it. Go easy on him, guys. But it's also like how often do you just like come across a dude who used to be a host? Yeah. yeah. Well, because yeah. like I feel that's just like a part of like Japanese subculture life that you just don't hear about, right? Yeah. It seems very very Japanese, right. and from what mm-hmm. I saw, the, it was extremely Japanese. Yeah. The also the only I feel the only time you would ever get to know a host is if you yourself end up going to a host club enough yeah. that you yeah. get to know a host, right? And I mean, the three of us don't. 
I mean, almost no foreigners become hosts anyway. Like, even if you're half like me. Yeah. Yeah. No one really, like, applies to become one. Yeah. So you're half Turkish, half Japanese. Yeah, I'm half Turkish, half Japanese. So, madam yeah. dostlar, if any Turkish people watching, what's up? Let's Turkish say, represent. Let's go. Oh, you got him, man. Is, yeah, is, that, is that part of Turkish culture? Because Hell yeah, man. And anytime, anytime we go out and we're with Jan, he meets, he meets another Turkish person. For sure, It's, it's like the long yeah, lost for brothers. Sure. And, like, you get free shit and, like, you yeah. take care of them. They <laughs> I, take care of you. And I'm just like, what is going on? It's like the world's strongest magnets. They're just like, <laughs> yeah. they're just like from distance. They're like, oh, there you are. I, I remember we were at a restaurant one time and they were like, you got to leave in like one hour. Yeah. And then the, 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 guy, the manager of the restaurant was Turkish. Yeah. And he was also yeah. named Jan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude. And it was like- That's right. It was like the moment that he found that out. It was like, yeah. the guy was like, oh no, no, you stay as long as you want. Yeah, <laughs> I remember time, that. Whatever you want to do. That. You know, you know it's like, what? what is this, bro? What is this? This is insane. They, they actually wanted to move us, if you remember. Yeah. They yeah. Did, yeah. Oh yeah. So I think we managed to stay in our, in our spot. Mm. Like yeah. they moved the guests away, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I shit you're not like people fucking booked that place, you know, like we're going over our time. And yeah. then they told the guests like, oh, dude, these guys, you know, they're not gonna move. How about you guys go there? Um, like, I mean, these Japanese people are like, yeah. They sure. go to that guest like, are you a Jan? I yeah. didn't think so. <laughs> I, I think where if you hang out with you, one thing you notice is that, uh, yeah, you're not, very Japanese in certain ways. I'd say. Yeah. Well, I mean, I hope so. But man. like you, you, that's but that's almost you know being a host requires you to be extremely ex extroverted, mm. yeah. and I think that applies to you. Yeah. I've never seen someone haggle in Japan. Yeah, but this man, <laughs> this man haggles in Japan. I, I didn't even know you were like allowed to yeah. haggle in yeah. Japan yeah. until I saw Jan. Well, hey, you gotta try it, right? And then see what happens. Yeah, right. Yeah. But like, just just based on like just pre assumptions of how Japanese like you know that kind of stuff true, in Japan true, works, yeah. right? It's true, like true. I, I I was watching you haggle for the first. I'm like I, I was scared. I was like, you doing something illegal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> it just looks so wrong. Yeah, I'm just like so, sometimes you go out with Jan, and I'm just like, I didn't know you could do this. Yeah, like, because it just wasn't part of like the rule sets right. that I was taught. Yeah, you know, in, in Japanese culture. But I mean, I guess that's how you found yourself in a position like becoming a host. Mm. I mean, you know, it's- um, Yeah, yeah. we should go We should go like the backstory of how oh Jan, yeah. Well, yeah. I guess how you, first of all, like ended up coming to Japan. Sure, sure, I sure. Mean, Cause you, were you born in Japan? Uh, no, I was born in Turkey actually. Okay. So I was born and raised in Turkey until I was like 16. Mm -hmm. um, Japanese school until seventh grade and then international school until 10th grade. And then I moved to United Arab Emirates, Dubai. That's how the locals oh, say. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I was in Dubai for two years, came back to Turkey for uni for two years, went to Czech Republic. And then on my final year, I went to Jochi Dayoku, so Tokyo. All right. I graduated here and then decided to stay here. So I was in Jochi um, and then, you know, what, what I is that? graduated. Is yeah, Yotsuya. Yeah. Oh, is it just a university? It's, it's like, yeah, it's like a yeah, central, yeah, yeah, yeah. central Tokyo university. Dope High University, bro. Like one of the four, you know, hottest chicks in Tokyo. They, that's, what, <laughs> that's what they say in terms of university. What are they, they call university the hottest chick? No, no. They, there's like top four oh, in terms oh, of oh, hottest girls. Is, oh, go right, to, right, right. Yeah, like Aoyama. So, so we clearly so, know why he so decided were, to go to this uni. So you were born <laughs> a host, I guess? Yeah. Bro, yeah. no. Okay, so I'm a fucking introvert, guys. Shut up. Bro, <laughs> you, you can't like, actually, you can't, bro, That's the biggest this, lie of this, the century. This guy has been on YouTube for five minutes. Yeah. Now he's claiming to be an introvert. I think, uh, come on. Like actual introverts watching this show are like, like get the you. fuck out of here, dude. Like, you are not one of us. I swear to God, like, like the, inter the internet has ruined the term introvert now. Yeah. Cause now everyone claims to be an introvert. Yeah. Okay. Now we have a literal okay, fucking hug. You can't is, just say you're an introvert to try and be humble. Like, okay, that no. doesn't work uh, that way. What, what is your justification of being? Sorry? Okay, yeah. tell us why. Yeah, why are you an introvert? introvert? Why All right, so for example, mm -hmm. I love just being by myself. Who doesn't? <laughs> okay, you know, see, the thing is like, you know, I feel the need to hang out. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause if I don't, I don't get to make new friends. I don't get to do fun stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I'm like outside hanging out with people, I should turn out like 95% of the time, I'm always like, I'd rather be at home, play, you know, League of Legends or some shit. Or, you know, like watch well, anime. That doesn't make you an introvert. That just makes you unsociable. <laughs> I don't even want to play League, you know? <laughs> but I definitely don't. Maybe want he is introverted then. <laughs> See, dude, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I shouldn't you not. I, I, I do spend a lot of time outside socializing with people because I also do enjoy that. No, 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 okay, but like yeah. I think I think you understand. You need to understand the an, an introverted person is incapable of being social. Well, no, 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 really? Yeah, because no, because no, of no. because either because they don't have the confidence to be social or because they don't know how to. That's no, that's how no. I see an introvert. Like, okay. like I, I I think that's like obviously if you're introverted, yeah. you know you're. 
an introvert doesn't mean like you're scared of social interaction. You know, that might be some introverts, yeah. but that's not like, that's not it's, every it's introvert. It's like a level scale, you know? Yeah. There's the right. severity. There's, of yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I'd say I'm an introvert and the best way I can describe it is that, you know, I can be a social person, mm. but I have I have this battery, right? It's mm. it's, it's my mm. social battery, yeah. right? And if I don't interact with people for a long time, that battery, like it fills up to the point where it starts like overflowing to be like, okay, I, I just want to go out and talk right, to people. Right, right, right. But when I go out and socialize, that battery depletes and depletes more and depletes more. Mm. And sometimes it's just it just gets completely fucking empty. Like yeah. you boys have hung out with me sometimes where I'm just like, I'm just not gonna say a word this time hang, I'm hanging out. I'm just I'm just like, you guys can just talk and I'm just gonna sit here. Is that, is that, is that, does that have to do with being introverted though? Yeah, because- Because I feel even extroverts like that. No, I, if you're what tired. I, yeah. What I feel with, what I've heard about extroverts is that they actually get energy from Inter so from social interaction. Right. So they start off the day with an empty battery mm. and then they go out and socialize and that's how yeah. they energize right. themselves, right? right? That's how I feel. Okay. Yeah. So if, so if I if I'm alone for too long, I start to get like like sad and shit. Yeah. Right. Do you now? Yeah. So so yeah, Connor's <laughs> definitely <laughs> <laughs> Bro, guys. You know, I, t I, I invited this guy. Well, I invited myself over to his house. To <laughs> <laughs> you don't, yeah. You, if, if there's one thing you need to know about Jan, you don't invite Jan. Jan, Jan invites himself. himself. <laughs> no, come on. So I'm gonna get called out now. To, to, to watch the fucking finals. Well, not the finals, but you know, T1 versus Dan Wan. Yeah, it was yeah. uh, with League of Legends. League of Legends. Yeah. 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 So, you know, cause I, I heard this guy mentioned that, you know, he feels lonely, people don't hit him up. No, 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 that's Mr. So he has well, no homie, friends. I got so. you, man, let's for some league, let's have a nice drink together, let's hang out. And he's like, ah, oh, you know, uh, excuses, excuses. Uh, no, no, excuses. no, 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 that's not what happened. Shut the fuck up. I, I agreed to go to something and I, I forgot, and then I, I went to the thing and it, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that good. I rather wish I watched League of Legends. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're yeah. telling me. And I was yeah. like, oh, well, hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So like going back to the host thing and yeah. you know your your backstory for say so you are half Japanese half Turkish yeah so your mom taught you Japanese uh, my like, dad is Japanese actually ah oh, okay 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 yeah and my mom's Turkish you know so you are uh, so because you're <laughs> 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 I like that <laughs> well, I love my mom yeah no. I love his mom man <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I think about her I gotta say something nice I'm sure that's she's cute. a lovely that's lady cute. that's cute yeah so like how did you get fluent because you're pretty damn fluent oh and so. You know, Oh, cool. we were saying no, something. as as someone who also is you know half. Not I'm, I'm not even half actually. My parents. <laughs> my, 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 you know why I'm half? I, I, now, I was about to be like, what are you half no, with? No. My parents are fully tied, but I grew up in a different yeah, country. Right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So so it's it's half in a sense, but like I'm full blooded tied, but still I grew up in another culture, and I'm I wouldn't say I'm like fully fluent in Thai. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you're fluent in a you know I say like your mother tongue language, like Joey is, you really had to go out and study it. True. So how did you get fluent in it? Well, you know, I lived in Turkey, so I didn't really have to study it. Yeah. Because I'm like surrounded by it. Yeah. But Japanese, so um, starting from first grade, I was enrolled in a Japanese school mm. until seventh grade. Right. And my dad never spoke to me in any other language. You know, right. he was okay. so persistent to just speak to me in Japanese that, you know. That's like, exactly how my mom did it. Yeah. Bro, yeah. see? Yeah. Great parenting, yeah, bro. Yeah, exactly. Look at us now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now we're fluent. Mm -hmm. bro. Look at us. Yeah. Look at us. Look at us. Feel <laughs> yeah, <Real> yeah. different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah, I, I agree though. Like that is that is the 100% the way to do it. Yeah. Because other, any other method, if you slip up with another language, then it just lets the kid know, oh, I can get away with just speaking that, the other does language. Does that get yeah. you fluent though? Because I swear you, you're fluent. That, that takes you up to a certain level, but it doesn't get you like- Oh, I mean, yeah. You're yeah. I have to study it as well, yeah, which yeah, I did yeah. a lot sure. of it. I'm sure you did as well. Right? Yeah, dude. Yeah. So my dad, um, so to go over the story, there were like chores that I can earn money out of by filling out kanji doriru. So <laughs> like the, the kanji studying fucking textbooks. <laughs> oh, if I like got one correct, I would get like 0 0.5 Turkish liras, which is like, you know, like 10 yen or some shit. Yeah. So, you know. You got money for studying? Bro, uh, like. <laughs> I, 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 I just got my meal for the day. <laughs> like, I didn't, that wasn't a reward in my house. That was like an obligation. <laughs> he, he was in a pay to win house. Yeah, man. right? What the fuck? I was like, bro, he, bro, he, he came out of the womb haggling. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, mother, trade off, trade off a mother. I complete kanji test, oh, you give me money. <laughs> 
But yeah, I think that was one of the biggest incentives for me to actually right. go learn. Yeah, right. Right. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> money is a big incentive for a lot of things, you know. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> because at that age as well, like even you know, like ten cents is like whoa. Well, you know, you yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Bro, like you're trying to get your like ice cream money for the day, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what you're like focused on. How did you? How did you decide on a pricing system? Where you're just like, yo, I'll le- well, I'll learn ten county. Did that actually? <laughs> I actually had to have it with my dad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so obviously. Oh so actually, you know, now that you guys talk about it, yeah. See, actually, I want to kind of go on a huge tangent. Oh, okay. oh trash this taste. is trash taste. Fitting all right. Fitting Fitting in. In. So, yeah, you know, yeah. w- whenever I went to your house <laughs> where I can get with, you know, all of us and whatnot, mm. yeah. there would always be a period where it's only you and me yeah. on your balcony and yeah. we're like reflecting on our lives. Yeah. And <laughs> it's, 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 it's like the 5 a.m. tour. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. I'm, I'm always gone by like 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Man. You're always just like, yeah. peace out. But then, you know, Garnt is always like, bro, why are you so fucked up? Tell me about it. You know, like, what, what calling me out now? Calling me <laughs> out. No, no, you're, t- you're t- asking that to me. You know, okay. it really, it really helped me. You know, go over stuff with you because I mean, it's a <laughs> new perspective that you're adding here, right? Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, so. Like how how I know when I'm going to bed when I hang out with Jan is when I see the sun. Like right, that's, right. That, that, that is how that's, that's like, well, it's uh, the sun's kind of coming up, Jan. I should probably get get to bed right yeah. now. <laughs> I, I just true. I just love how you just you found out how fucked up your life was because Gunt was like, why are you so fucked up, bro? <laughs> well, like he, he really, you know, in detailed fashion, he went over certain like aspects of what we talked about, mm. you know, how I ended up doing certain things, some decision making mm-hmm. and, you know, really like put your own thought into your answers and your evaluation that made me kind of understand. Oh, thank you. God, God's a good stuff. father figure. Yeah, he's a good father figure for sure. Father figure slash therapist, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm just a big brother. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not a dad yet, guys. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a dad yet. He's the Onichan of trash tales, that's <laughs> right. for sure. Yeah. God is the wisest person I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd say so. I, I think it's the Zen like monk state that yeah. he has. That's very true. God just sees things like differently. Yeah. I don't know. You see, it hits different. He sees know. things through his third eye. He does, bro. He does. Except for food. Oh, yeah. 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 He sees things through his third eye, but his other two eyes, he doesn't see shit. God yeah, will be right, shit. but I'll just disagree with him. Yeah. Just, like, just for like the sake of it. One random question. Do people still pick on you for the way you drink stuff? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, okay. They, okay. Have you seen our subreddit? Here's, here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, in my entire life, no one has ever picked on me for the way I drink stuff. And now only only as Trash Taste has started has people, have I noticed how I drink things? Uh-huh. And uh, I've never noticed that before. Yeah. Uh, before yeah. I started Trash Taste. Being on so. camera sucks. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you are kind of forced to strive for perfection on this show. Like any, any one slip up in our I mean, audience I, I is like, gotcha. I don't like, care gotcha. anymore, I'll, I'll fucking. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you like let it drip. So damn, you got like fluent and, and kanji, I guess, similar to Joey. This can't write for shit though. You can't write, but well, you can uh, read, can't you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the I usual. Know. I mean, when I talk to Jan, it's like I'm talking to a native. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's like, I can tell not only you are actually fluent, but you also like, cause you know, there are people who just know the vocab, but yeah. don't actually understand the, the culture behind the language. Yeah. Yeah. When I speak to Jan, it's like, he clearly also gets the culture. But I think yeah. that's because we both follow anime manga, you know, that like might be deep into it. that shit. Yeah, you know? but I mean, it also helps again that your dad, you know, did that whole true, true, true. only in Japanese technique, which I true. honestly would recommend to any parent. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. I mean, it's there's two examples that's been proven yeah. to work, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a must, man. It's I think a so. must, honestly. I think so. So like, when did you move to Japan originally to like come live here? Um, so I w- visit every year to see mm-hmm. my grandparents and hang out yeah. here. And I think that's one of the reasons also why, you know, that there's no like cultural gap mm. in my vocabulary, for example. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But I moved here permanently about three years ago. So right after, you know, graduating from Jochi, mm. um, you know, to actually start working here. Mm-hmm. And you became a host. No, so that's the, <laughs> okay, 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 that's, okay. that's never been my like main profession. Right, right. Yeah. So it's like a side hustle. Uh, yeah, basically. But how how but long have you been doing it for then? Um, so, <laughs> of course, I started after eighteen. I mean, yeah, of course, like of I course. I started any time before that, but um, so so it's been how long? Seven years since yeah. I started, I guess, huh? Because I'm right, twenty five right. now. Is um, that is that a long time for a host? Like, what's like the average that 
a, a host would be a host for like dude it really depends on right. the club but i would say like the general lifespan of a single host is pretty short yeah it seems long, like how long your liver can last this yeah. yeah yeah honestly it's really hard <laughs> but the thing is like in my case for example mm. you know i would i wasn't like a full time right mm. yeah like for example until i moved here permanently it was always like a summer one month thing so for like mm. the audience or like the customers it was like oh my god i can only see this dude one month out of the whole year that that's crazy because for me it's like i during my breaks, I would just like go and play Xbox like the whole time. Like, I, I didn't even have the capacity to even find this. Jan was yeah. on that grind. Yeah, how, <laughs> did you, how did you even like, so, so you became a host, you said like what, for one month for summer? From uh, like- How did that young, start? Yeah, how the I'm hell what, did you like, even get into like, like, okay, yeah. okay. I'm, I'm so curious. Okay, so to go over, um, since you know, even before I was 18, I would always go to Kabukicho Mm. You know, it's like the, 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 the host red light central. Yeah. yeah, the red light district. Yeah. Exactly. Probably the closest thing to a That's red light district. That's where all the amalgamation of all the you know fun, cool shit in Tokyo happens. And sketchy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> sketchy stuff. Also very sketchy. Yeah. yeah. But you know, like I would hear stories from my dad how the street was because my dad used to work there too at a right. bar called Saboten. My dad is like a huge ass motherfucker. So he right. was like a bouncer for one of the you know bars back in yeah. the day. Right. So yeah. he would tell me how he used to play a card with like you know uh, people who are missing a. A portion of their finger right, stuff right, like right. that. <laughs> so I was really curious to see like, what is this place like now? Yeah. Mm. So I would go there with my- Before you know, you're 18. <laughs> before, I mean, just to look around, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I would go there and like the people there just, you know, treated me like I'm an adult, you know? Right. Like, I mean, it, it do be like that when you're like half Turkish. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You have a fucking well, beard like this. Yeah. 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 If you're a beard, you're 40 years old in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. I never had an issue like buying or doing anything here, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, at that time I would go there just to experience what it's like, you mm. know, see places. It's not like I did anything, we're mm. just, you know, looking. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, you know, um, once I turned 18, I decided, well, when I'm going to Japan, I should probably make some money, mm. meaning mm. I should do some baito. Yeah. Because my dad was like, well, now that you're 18, I ain't going to give you any money, bro. Just do something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I was like, all right, am I going to work at a, you know, fucking pizzaia? Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. hosto? And then I decided to choose the pizza. Why, would the, why, why, would the, why, why was <laughs> that yeah, your yeah, two yeah, options? Look, surely okay. there's more choice. Yeah. So when I was 18. <laughs> when I, <laughs> Wait, father, I will work for Domino's <laughs> or the sketchiest bar in Tokyo. <laughs> Which sure. one should I choose? Like extremes. Yeah. Like, yeah. When you put it like that, it's like such It's not my first two choices. Black and white. That. Okay, okay. So yeah. to, to go over why that. You, you know, just worked at McDonald's. Yeah. No, no, like, yeah. Combini or something, you know? Like, the way it transpired is that um, when I turned 18, near my parents' house, there was a pizza called, uh, I'm not gonna name it because it's my surname. What but was a pizza? Uh, pizza, uh, pizza, uh, pizza, pizza shop. shop. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I so, understood that, that was it, but I should really make sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's a pizza shop. Pizza so shop. the shop's name was literally my surname. So mm -hmm. I went there, chat with the guy, he's like, yo, we have the same surname. And he looks like exactly like me, bro. Mm. This guy, Japanese, has a beard, huge nose and everything. Was he Turkish so, as well? No, he's not, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> but we became really good friends and he was like, why don't you work here, you know? I heard you're here for the summer, you know? I'll give yeah. you good cash, 900 yen an hour. Yeah. Balling. It's like, it's like 10 bucks. Yeah, but hour. it was like, you know, free food all day, bro. I'm like, yeah. shit, let's go. So I started working there for, you know, a few months. Yeah. Um, when I was 18, I stayed in Japan for much longer than one month, actually, uh, probably like four months. Mm. Yep. The first two months I was there, um, I worked there. And then I started taking the night shifts because my, you know, Tensho wanted me to make drinks and serve it to the customers at the counter. Huh. And he said- So it's um, like a pizza place that served alcohol. Exactly. Well. Right, right, right. And then the main customers that come in the evening were, um, <laughs> MILFs, let's say. <laughs> I so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, he, he was like, yo, John, this, um, so he's like a ex sports teacher. And uh -huh. You know, he still has good ties with the school and mm. all of his like, you know, like ex students um, he's still in contact with. Are now all adults. Yeah, yeah. and all, most of the females are like married, they have kids, they're mm. like 25. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're 25 and you're married to a 30 year old Japanese guy and he's away a lot, and you know, maybe he has like an erectile dysfunction. <laughs> he kind of want to, she kind of wants to go talk to other people, right? Okay, I, mean, I was gonna say that. We fucking at the pizzeria? Yeah. <laughs> we we I'm fucking at Chuck E. Cheese? No, I'm, I'm just going on. Give you some context. Okay, okay. I was, I was just about like, what you're describing literally sounds like the start of a porn. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that, guys, that, to be fair. That's gonna fair. happen a lot throughout this episode. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I mean, one thing that we should probably mention is that uh, cheating culture in Japan is pretty prevalent, right? It's, like, it's fucking- it's, it's very normal, yeah, unfortunately. It's, yeah, it's yeah. nuts, yeah. bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So I started working at this pizza place, um, taking the nice shows, making drinks for these ladies. 
chatting with them and i realized they're coming back specifically to chat with me mm. that's what the boss is telling me they're like yo you know <laughs> these ladies they want to hang out with this you after dangerous fee feeding an 18 year old yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and then i i realized that they're allowed to buy drinks for me while you know i'm making drinks for them so i'm like you know, the fuck kind of pizza what place is this yo, it's not it's a pizza, pizza place <laughs> yo guys it is <laughs> what's happening <laughs> 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 where, where, where did we get the drinks from i yeah. thought i thought we i had the image of like a, the, the domino's counter yeah. and you were just taking i don't, I don't think this is a pizza place i think no, this is a, a bar that serves pizza well it's, it's, it's like a really high-end pizza place that has a right. really really sexy counter with like you know a lot of high-end alcohol kind of lined up right okay and then there's a nice you know stool that people can sit on and then drink on one to one with the bartender. Okay. Right, right, right. So a bar. <laughs> well, with, with pizza attached to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bar that serves pizza. It's not a pizza oh, place, yeah, man. Right. It's, so, like, it's not what you're stuck so when, on, really. So when the wife goes there, she can be like, no, no, I'm not going to a bar. I'm going to a pizza. I'm yeah, getting exactly. a pizza. pizza yeah. you know, what, it's what a fat pepperoni. Yeah. Yeah. excuse for your husband. You don't have to fear the pizza boy. He's yeah. a pizza boy. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> you don't have to the pizza boy. So um, after after like a month or so working there, you know, in the night shift, I realized that, you know, mm. I may be good at this. So right, right, right. my boss was like, and he's such a nice guy, bro. You know, you huge respect to him. With him? Uh, yeah, of course, of course, oh, okay. of course. I go hang out with him still at his house and shit. So he told me, you know, you told, um, cause I was telling to him, talking to him about be being, becoming a hostel like initially, but mm. I told him, you know, like, I don't want to let my parents down. You know, shit okay, like so that. why did you want to be a host initially before you entered? Easy money, man. <laughs> Easy money. Bro, guys, like think about it. There, there's a job where you literally get paid money to drink with girls yeah, the and money, just chat with them. When, when I did my video, the money I saw that they were getting paid was insane. Yeah. Well, it's nuts. Yeah, yeah. It was It was like, some of them could make like $50,000 a night. Yeah. But easy. If, you, if it's your Why birthday. Why are we YouTubers? <laughs> no, they were clearly in the wrong They from... fucking laughed at me when they were like, how much do you make? And I told them how much I made like the year before. Like, oh, yeah, and, they, yeah. and they were like, that's how much you made? <laughs> they, all, they all started fucking laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? They're like, look yeah. at this peasant. Bro, yeah. like, what so, the so hell? Some of them don't pay tax, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, it's all, all cash in hand, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just write off whatever the fuck. It's crazy, bro. So, okay. So what was the process of like, getting into your first yeah, hosting yeah. job then. Okay, so after the pizza stuff, I decided to apply, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, um, you can apply, just, like, like you, do you just talk to someone or like, do you have like, like, a, like um, a job offer or? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you go on the fucking internet guys, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and <laughs> 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 so you just type in, you know, Hosto Club Tokyo and right. then you just find Craigslist, it. right? Uh, <laughs> so you just find the nearest one. So I went to the one in Ikebukuro cause that was like five minutes train away mm. from where I was living at mm. the time. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure if that was a attention. <laughs> that was attention. Building up the tension. This is like his sip. host. His host yeah. like coming out. Yeah. he's drinking a gin and tonic. By the way. Oh yeah, guys. It's like two in the afternoon. <laughs> we 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 want to drink, but we can't. We have our health check. Yeah, we have a health check. Can we go over this like real oh quick? I have to get out of my. Chair. <laughs> okay, okay. So people, listen to me. Okay. We've been discussing about, you know, this podcast day yeah, for like yeah, a yeah, year, yeah. you know, yeah. since we met. We've been trying yeah. to get Jan on for a while yeah. now. Yeah. And then I was always like, you know, we're going to get fucking smashed when I show up, right? Are you guys fucking ready? And last week, um, I had to cancel because some shit happened. And then, you know, I said, about next week. Yeah. And what is it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And I show up today with this bottle. <laughs> and the first thing they say, they're like, ah. Oh, can't drink today though. <laughs> Damn. Well, I'm sorry. Well, to be fair, Jan, we have been asking you for a whole year. Yeah. You've had 52 weeks, which is not this week yeah. to say yes. So, so that's that's a valid enough excuse to not let me know that you can't drink this week. We, we didn't think about well, it. We didn't we think about it. We actually, I actually completely forgot I had a health checkup until this morning I came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, oh yeah, that's tomorrow, nah, shit. You. All right, all right. <laughs> I, I have no excuse. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. We'll, we'll drink when uh, the cameras are off, uh, when it's not today. So yeah, it's just like yeah. we like we always do, Jim. Yeah. Like we all, right. all like like we. In fact, the, 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 the day that this episode goes up, we'll drink. How's yeah. that? Fuck yeah! Yeah, Let's there we do go. It. So all so right. save it until. Cheers. Then. I'll, I'll, I'll camp you with some cucumber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some cucumber. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, Cheers, bro. Shit, you leave me hanging, bro. I thought like camp I'd gone. I thought it was like a group camp I. Yeah, no, it doesn't work that way, bro. I, you know, cause I don't want to go around campying everyone individually. I'm like, cheers, cheers, cheers. I mean, Jan does, all right. Oh, yeah. He's a host though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Using the internet without using ExpressVPN is like leaving your keys in the car while you run to the gas station for a snack. Most of the time you're probably fine, but what if you come back to see someone driving off with your car? Every time you connect to an unencrypted network, cafes, hotels, airports, any hacker on the same network can gain access to your personal data, passwords, financial details, etc. 
really doesn't take much technical knowledge to hack someone. Just some cheap hardware is needed. Even Joey could do it I, without I, his I, graphics card. <laughs> <laughs> Your data is valuable and hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling personal information on the dark web. But guys, why use ExpressVPN? Well, let me tell you. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. Hackers can't steal your sensitive data at all. It would take Joey over a billion years to try and hack into your computer and a billion more if you had ExpressVPN. Plus it works on all your devices, phones, laptops, tablets, and more so you can stay secure on the go. And everyone who watches Trash Taste knows that I use ExpressVPN. It's easy, it's very easy to use. It's, it's very genuinely, simple. Yeah, it you can't fuck it up, you can change the country, it's super easy. Yep. I, I just use it because it's, it's painless. Even I can use it. So secure your data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash trash taste. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash trash taste. And you can get an extra three free months. That's expressvpn.com slash trash taste. Links in the description below. Back to the episode. All right, so, so yeah, tell yeah. us how you got into this. Like, so, you so, you, so, you, so you looked up Host Club Tokyo and then you yep. applied for a one in Nikibuku. Uh-huh. And then you just walked in? Um, Yeah, basically. Uh, Is it that easy? Well, well, they have an interview. Okay. And they actually pay you to go to the interview. Why? Can you believe that? Is that new or is that like, uh, so, has it always been like that? Um, this is where the you know difference in clubs come in. Mm, so right. for example, if you go to a you know very well-known club in Kabukicho, like mm -hmm. Prachina, um, you know, if you know, that's like one of the fucking most prestigious clubs. I know the clubs. name, yeah. Okay. yeah. So they're not gonna pay you to go there. You know, you're know, you yeah. gonna go there, you're gonna do the interview and they're gonna tell you to fuck off like 90% of the time. Yeah, yeah. But smaller clubs, you know, but fuck nowhere, like Ikebukuro kind of, they are lacking staff. So mm. they need more hosts to actually fill the, you know, place. Mm. Right. Um, so they actually pay people to take the interviews because they can afford it. Wait, so they pay you even if you don't get in? Yeah, exactly. They pay you for your time, bro. Wow. Huh. So but actually is, the first, oh uh, yeah, go for sorry, it. Sorry, is the host industry that big that we have like a shortage of like employees in the host industry? Um, I mean, there is a shitload of host clubs in, just in Tokyo, right? Yeah, so I mean, fuck, I guess bro. the demand is there. Yeah. But wow, like, okay. Uh, I guess I guess it's not really like apparent, maybe. Yeah, if you just yeah, look yeah, at it from yeah. a surface of like just how I, much in demand it is. I think, I think back in the day, at least for girls bars, I, I read that they would literally just like hire tourists. Really? No, they weren't. Oh, they're not allowed to, obviously. But yeah, they would yeah. Just hire, like they would hire foreign girls for girls bars on that tourist, would work. On that tourist would work. visas. They would yeah, just yeah, literally, yeah. you could just like girls would just walk into bars. Like I, I can girls, believe that. And yeah. They were like, I want to work here. And they'd yeah, be like, yeah, okay, yeah. sure. Wow. I, I met a girl like that the other day, actually. Of um, course he did. Near, <laughs> near, near a girls bar next to my house um, that I always go to just to check out like who's new and stuff. Mm -hmm. There was this Russian girl who was here for like exchange. Yeah. You know, she's only here for like four they, months. They're yeah. not supposed to be working. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Not, they're not, they're not, yeah. Visa doesn't allow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. No, it's nothing legal, but she's still there. I'm sure that's not the dodgiest thing you've seen, but we'll get into, yeah, we'll, we'll, get we'll, into we'll, we'll get into some of the other stories later. So, sure. so you join this, you know, you get paid for the interview. Yeah, successful. so I hope two places. And then at that time I was thinking like, how about I hop like 50 places and not join any of them and just- <laughs> No, cause, cause when you said yeah. that, that they would pay you and not even join, I'm just like, I'm just like, oh, there's that's an idea. Yeah, exactly. What right? if I just apply to jobs Wait, and not no, join? Yeah. Not? How does this interview process go then? Do they you just make, make you drink? Like, what uh, So you go, you fill in like a basic sheet. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's kind of like the employment thing, your name, your address and whatnot. Mm. Um, and then they ask you questions just to chat with you, you know, have you ever done this before? Um, are you good at socializing? Can you handle drinks? How late can you work for? I can't say <laughs> Yeah, I, I just, you know, watch League of Legends. And <laughs> <laughs> like you, I watch League of Legends now. No. Yeah, 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 no. Get out, get out. <laughs> get out, you can't talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I was gonna originally do like a hopping thing mm. just to collect like, and they pay a lot. They pay like 4,000, some of them pay 6,000. So it's 40 just to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just to go to an interview, which, Finishes in like an hour, bro. I know, right? Crazy. So, so how many hours is that in the pizzeria? It's like, it's like, even, it's like five, six hours. Yeah, pizzeria, that's like right? six hours for like but a single interview. Yeah. Th that place was not about money. It's about like the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> how much, no, how much longer do we have to have him on the show? <laughs> Whoa, come on now, man. I didn't start talking about the good shit. Okay, 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 okay. Bro, we need this to go. I'm down until like the oh my point. god. <laughs> this is 47% by the way. I know, I know. Jesus One Christ. shot of yeah, How sad is this though? Just getting smashed by myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> anyway, yeah, so so you decided to join the Ikebukuro one? Uh, yeah, so after two interviews, I decided, you know what? I kind of like this place. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was a really interesting one because until that point, they never really made me sit with an actual customer. Right. Mm, right. But for the Ikebukuro place that I went to, um, it was called Acid. Um, that place literally made me sit down with a customer and just drink with them like, straight up. Right. So you it know? wasn't even like, it was like trial by fire. It was just around an actual customer that was there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, sure, okay. But it was like one of the closest, you know, um, customers of one of like the members there. Mm. Right, he, right, right, right. You know, the Shacho asked him like, is it okay if we have like this random ass guy just chat with her for a bit, just to see you know, if he's capable? Yeah. And you know, she said, fuck yeah. So I sat down, drank fucking Jaeger, Jaeger bombs with her. Oh, Ugh. Yeah, oh, I fucking love you. Was, was that her choice? Uh, my choice, bro. Oh my God. It's oh gross. My God. Of course, you, of course you're 18 at the time. Yeah. That makes so much sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in my veins. So we drank um, Jaeger bombs and Cocarero. Do you know Cocarero? Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit's crazy. The, gr- the green one, right? That have, like, it, it's, it's got like some substance in it that's like, it's like it's, it's, taurine, I think, is actually in the cocktail uh, and the alcohol. Too, yeah, right? actually, well. something like that. Yeah. It's awful for your heart. Your yeah, heart, I, yeah. Gosh. I'm not surprised, bro. <laughs> 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 I think I, I served it in the the, the gay bar video I did. It's yeah, like right. Gr- it's a green at the it's bottom. It's like a green one. Like yeah, red, a red bull at the bottom. Then it's just like not red bull with cocalera. Jesus yeah, so Christ! It's, it's red bull in the bottom and the that sounds fucked. And then it's the the forty percent spirit on top, and like they're not supposed to mix. Yeah. So the idea is that it's like this presentation that's like fancy and stuff. Bloody hell! It's shit. I think, you can, I think you can pull someone out of a coma with that. Yeah, genuinely, <laughs> like, just, like, just, dude, you should, like, let's just christen people with that. The fucking yeah. baby will stop. <laughs> no, the fucking, baby will stop floating. Yeah, the baby will stop fucking <laughs> just floating away. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, 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 so you sat down with this lady. Oh yeah, just, just like try out, drinking try it out. with her, yeah. So that was your first time? Yeah, first time ever. Did and you kill it? Did it go well? Was it awkward? Yeah. No, not at all, man. Yeah. What did you drinking with her? Um, You know, like, why did you come here? Well, I'm trying it out, I'm a student. Blah blah. Mm. Oh, she mm. was just like she was interviewing you. Remember, she was the real. Kinda, yeah, that was the yeah, real like, interviewer. Oh, this is like some <laughs> undercover <laughs> boss. Kinda, yeah, I'm actually the owner of this place. <laughs> the, thing is, the interview. The thing is, like, I'll get into this a bit more later. But yeah. like, you know, in, in like the traditional way of doing hostel, you're supposed to have the other person talk the most. Yeah, and that's with any sales tactic, right? Yeah. If you come out of an interview in general talking more than the other person, that means you had to do the selling. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. If you make the other person talk more, that means you know they're trying to do something to impress you, or they're just having a good time that they just want to talk more. Mm. But in this case, she was just asking me questions like, oh, "Where are you from? Why do you have a fucking beard? How are you eighteen? Holy, she look thirty-five. You know, stuff mm. like that. Yeah, small so, talk stuff. And like the more I, I answer stuff, it intrigued her more to ask more questions. So you know, at the end, she said, you know, I want to see this guy again. You know, fucking hire him. I was like, right. let's go start tomorrow. Right, right. Okay. I can make it sound so simple. Just, uh, just it ask did, questions, bro. Yeah. Actually, not, I mean, you guys probably not, but you could become a hostel tomorrow, bro. <laughs> Why me? Because <laughs> you speak Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm good at socializing. <laughs> nah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> not that I have any plans to be a host. That's <laughs> all right, guys. I'm not going to. Well, we have a plan, don't you think? I, uh, yeah, I want to do like a version two of it. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Uh, the host club mm-hmm. video. Oh, the host club yeah. video. Right, yeah, right. Because yeah, yeah. you've got Jan now, so like show you around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, show yeah, you yeah, yeah. Right? Good in the video. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I yeah. want to take you to, you know, my homie's place. <laughs> show you around. <laughs> when Jan says homie's place, it's like, I just think of like the most sketch shit. Yeah, so like, so obviously- <laughs> I don't know why. I, I have like my, my, preconceptions of host clubs and, and whatnot, just cause from filming my video where I went to host club yeah, yeah. and I got to see everything there, you know, and obviously we cut a lot of stuff that I couldn't show, but right, I, yeah. you know, one misconception I had about host clubs is that I thought you had to be like fucking, like literally looking like a rock star, like sexy mm. as fuck. Uh, it's like, you literally just have to have a, like a gimmick right. almost. Yeah. And this guy's gimmick was that he was an asshole. Mm. That was like his character, right? Maylene, was that? Yeah, so I think I, like, was what was I it? Mean, oh, and who's kind of so who's, who's you know who's a bit larger? Yeah, than, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he was just I big. He calls, it, he calls himself piggy. Oh, he calls himself a pig. I mean, also, I, I'm very grateful they let me film. I mean, yeah. they they really did like give me like all access and like. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, tough yeah, yeah, to get yeah, permission. Yeah, yeah. Well, they yeah, like yeah. They, you know they're really nice about it. Like, yeah. did you have to like hook them up and stuff? No, no. I they, we didn't do anything, did we? No. No, SNS, no nothing. We literally just shouted out his YouTube. I think. That was it. Right, yeah, right, it was right. it was one of the situations where, kind of dope. where I didn't really dope. know what was going on. I don't think any of us really knew what was happening. Right. Mm-hmm. We just kind of got dragged in and uh, we were doing it and I didn't know if I was gonna pay for stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, he was, I, from what I was gathering, like he, he was being rude. Like it was partially a character, but I think there was partially some of it that might've been 
how he it has to have stemmed from somewhere right you know I, I he was trying to be funny yeah. as well like he was trying to crack jokes yeah. at my expense which i didn't mind i <laughs> you know i can i can take that it's, you know I, i'm not, uh, not self-conscious okay. yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know i i you know i mean maybe I, you know sometimes when when you bring cameras into a place like that sometimes people feel like they want to you know want to show off yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah do yeah, i yeah. seem like that to you right now no no no, no <laughs> <laughs> i know you fuck off <laughs> But, uh, You're more of an asshole off camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not the case. Trust me, that is not the case. But yeah, it was it was interesting. I what shocked me the most was how like transparent it all was. Like the hosts were like very transparent with about that. Like they they were like right. we don't care, but but they they do this whole act that they do care. Yeah. But it's so obvious that they don't, and 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 they they almost tell them that they don't care in many ways. It's really yeah. hard oh, to the customers. Anyway. Oh. Yeah, it's really right, strange. Right, right. Okay. And um, that's that's where we go into the whole psychology of it and then the yeah. tactics yeah. they employ to actually you know garner these. It's something I don't yeah. think I can quite. It's. You, if you're not from Japan, it would take years for you to wrap your head around because yeah. you have to, feel like you have to need to understand what led up to this as a culture to yeah, 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 yeah. understand sure, why sure. this is yeah, even so, a So like as a host, what is the big appeal of host clubs, you know, mm -hmm. from, from the other side? Yeah, why do so many girls in Japan yeah. love going to host clubs and like not just going, but like spending like gargantuan amount, yeah. of yeah. Money amount of money for yeah. these hosts? Very good question. So this has kind of a lot of sides to it, but um, the main you know, answer I would say is just the so social structure of Japan itself. Mm. Right. As you also mentioned, Japan is not really like a social friendly place, mm. especially when you look at the type of people that actually go to the host clubs. Mm. So again, a huge tangent, but the reason why I wanted to go to host club or one of the reasons is to see what kind of people actually work there. Mm. And yeah. What kind of people actually go there? Because it made no sense. Like, why would I spend money to chat with guys? Yeah. And I can just mm. go to a you know, bar and pay to drink with a guy right. you know, as a girl. Yeah. So um, once I entered, that was like the main thing that I looked into. What kind of people go there? Why do they go there? And what kind of people actually work there? So what I figured out is most of the customers that we would get, and I'm sure it's the same across the board, they're also people who work in the nightlife. Yeah, oh, okay, I, okay. I know okay. most of the people. Like easy, like I would say more than eighty percent of the people that we got, they were always, you know, like kabakura soap, like kabakura like soap, whatever, right. some kind of a nightlife where mm. your pride, your dignity, it's fucking stepped on all day long, and yeah. it's you know you're out of your job. Mm. The one thing you want is being pampered. One thing you want is feeling like you're being respected. One thing right. you want is, even if it's artificial as fuck, mm. yeah. and you know it, mm. you want to feel this guy giving you this utter, you know, sense of service and then, mm. you know, do anything for you kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite a depressing aspect of Japanese <laughs> culture in many yeah, ways. If you put it in that perspective, yeah, yeah, but it has its own culture within itself where, you know, once you go a lot to a host club, for example, like you get to meet the Shacho. Mm. Uh, you know, like uh, all, like owners basically mm. of these yeah. host clubs, and they're not like you know random ass people. They're usually very wealthy Japanese businessmen. Mm. Right? Yeah, mm. and if you're in the nightlife, and then you get to hang out with the shacho, you know, he might elevate you in some way or another. Maybe he might put you in a different, you know, like a kabakura or something. Mm. You know, so there's actually different up the reasons as to why you would go to a host club. It depends on the person. All right. So, like, how often would you get like you know like a, a newbie come to the host club? Like you know so, someone who first time ever. Yeah, you know someone who's like say not part of like the industry or that kind of environment. Someone just like someone is know. just like curious to be like, yeah. oh, I want to see yeah. what a host club is. Like. Yeah, so, yeah. Actually, when you start off, that's your main goal. Um, you go outside of the club, you go nampa on the street with random girls. And you let what's them- nam, What's Nampa? Nampa's like hitting- Yeah, uh, you just hit on them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Bro, you're like a 2010 YouTuber, bro. It's like, just <laughs> fucking Vitaly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wanna make it out? Yeah. <laughs> Camera's right there, yeah. just yeah. kidding. <laughs> so, you know, the thing was, you just go up to them and be like, hey, I work right there. You know, I would love to drink with you. It's 1,600 yen per hour, no me whole day. Right. right. What are the, what are, like, what's the success rate of this? <laughs> Like one in a hundred will be generous. Yeah, right. Oh, right. Yeah. So, oh, well, they they'll do it just because they feel sorry for you. Nah, <laughs> bro, it's Japan, bro. People value their time and money. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and privacy. Is, and yeah, exactly, privacy exactly. Well. No one yeah. appreciates some random dude getting this close and being like, you know, no yeah. one's gonna be like, yeah, let's do it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I see it all the time when you go to like Shibuya and Shinjuku of like these dudes who clearly work at host clubs. Yeah, yeah. going oh, up to these like, girls, and these girls just don't even don't even yeah. give them. 
like any yeah. attention. They're at used all. to it, bro. Yeah. Japanese girls that go to these places, they know that some catchy guy is gonna come to you. Yeah. Yeah. Just you know, walk straight ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of the same with like you know maid cafes, but just like off the opposite way around, right? Yeah. You, so like you go to Akihabara or you know Kabuki Kabuki and you like see. A lot of maids on the streets trying yeah, to get yeah. people to come in their maid cafes as well. And you just like don't even give them periphery <laughs> at all. Just like no, no, just, no, just no, like no. don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. The moment they realize in the periphery they are there, they'll just come yeah, up no. to you yeah. and like give you a pamphlet, right? <laughs> yeah. It sucks. So what? like so was that yeah. what you had to do as you, when you joined the host club? Was that like your first jobs? Uh yeah. Initially, that that was my first ever proper job after the, you know, pizza bar. But yeah. Mm. So for the first, you know, couple of months. Not even like first year, because you know I wasn't living in Japan. Mm -hmm. So for the first time I was there, and then second year that I was there, you go in at 5 p.m., clean the fucking place with your other homies that are not selling. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you just make everything pristine as fuck, and then your senpais would come in and be like, "What's that fucking dirt there, bro?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. You know, uh, that thing. But gotta love that about Japan. Eh? I mean, but you know, it's fun because I still make banter out of it. You know. Yeah. Like no one would go up to their senpai and be like, how about you do it, bitch? But yeah. like, I would do it, you know? Like yeah. I just get pissed <laughs> off and be like, you know, number one, you think you're this hot shit, bitch? Come you clean it. I'm not doing it, fuck you. And he'll be like, yo, I like you. The senpais are all tsundere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, that's the whole industry. They're like, oh, bro, so, so, bro, so I'm fighting them. BL Riders just got so much material. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's the same with the way you approach the customers because um, the number one, rule they tell you when you join is do not ask them personal questions mm. yeah. don't ask them what they do your their real name their address Damn, you know how yeah. they make their living it's and so hard because i remember when i did it i was like uh -huh. fuck it's like when you meet someone all you do is like just ask them like hey yeah i was like oh, how do i, I don't know what to ask and combined with the fact that i'm also you know used to that but also my main purpose was to do a survey as to you know why the fuck do people come to these places anyway yeah, yeah. so you know i was like crack okay first girl i ever go into you know what, why, why are you here? Why are you here? Yeah, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and my senpais are just like, what the fuck? Yeah. But, you know, Did the girls like that? Well, that's what worked in my favor because I was acting like- That this. was your gimmick? Yeah, exactly. That, that, it's like that, the girls that, like, bro, no one's, no one's ever just, asked me before. This is a fucking anime plot. Bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's, like, I was acting that Japanese- uh, sorry. I, love, I love how yeah, your Kamsin. gimmick is just, you're the guy that gives the survey. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's a brief, to it. Bring, to it. bring the survey guy. <laughs> he a is a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> the social experiment guy. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm here in oh Kabucho. <laughs> Kabucho. <laughs> 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 so, well, the main purpose also mm. was to get information. But again, I was playing this character where I'm that Gaijin guy who has no idea what the fuck he's doing. Mm. But you know, yeah. it's that friendly neighborhood Gaijin doing his best. Right. That character. Gathering information. So, so was that like yeah. a character you like made up or was that something you were just like, okay, I'm gonna, I, I know this is the character I'm gonna play and I'm I mean, gonna play it naturally out. really. Cause I never gave a shit what they told me to do. Mm -hmm. Cause I was like, bro, you fire me today. I'll go to the next place. You know, like, <laughs> they, they pay me money to go to the interviews. Like I give a care. You know? Right, right. I never give a fuck. So, you know. You figured out the system, man. Yeah, exactly. The system. Bro, it's just all about not giving a fuck. Host right. club hate this one trick. <laughs> <laughs> Click to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so you know employing this tactic of just asking these girls like what do you do mm -hmm. uh, my main structure of conversation was literally just being a life coach to these girls right. Right. Um, but just bitcoin <laughs> nft buy, <laughs> buy invest so, invest just, just, to go, just, <laughs> just to go over like the general structure so yeah. i think last time i went over you know how i got chosen and shit so you know you clean the stuff you start sitting down with girls and then when there's a new girl that comes in, mm -hmm. who's never been to that club before, what you do is each guy gets to sit down with her for five minutes. Right? Yeah, yeah, Just five yeah, minutes. I did that in my video. You give your card, you compliment them, you talk to them, and then after five minutes, they switch around. I, I love that host clubs have business cards. Uh, host, hosts have business cards. Yeah, I should have brought mine today, bro. It's, it's really sick. <laughs> it's like some stock trading stuff. It's like, <laughs> yeah, let me bring it out. Is it just like that scene from like American yeah, Psycho? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, let me see your business Ooh, card. Fine card. Oh, nice print. Oh, oh, <laughs> Italics. That's, that's, that's the five minutes. Oh, this is the session said business card. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> sorry, sorry, go ahead. Uh, Patrick Bateman moment, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> so, so like, so you had five minutes to prove yourself. Yeah, exactly. Mm, so you do man. that, you rotate, and after the first forty-five or fifty minutes, they choose someone, right? Yeah, they. How do you stand out in five minutes? Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing, bro. 
most people just you know go like oh your eyes are beautiful oh, <laughs> i love your nails yeah. you know, stuff like that you john know? comes in why are you here why are you gay <laughs> <laughs> like, i'm like well, you know, why are you here why don't you go somewhere else and you know, like, hang out with your friends and she's like what do you mean <laughs> and i'm like well oh my god i love him <laughs> <laughs> well if you're spending money to drink with me that means you know there's a reason why you're here why are you here <laughs> and then like i make them explain like justify their their reason for being there right so like i clearly don't get along with closed-minded people or people who are not willing to chat bro yeah, you yeah. would get ladies that would just come in and open their phones and just you know scroll through and right. i see that for like a minute and i'm like yeah no Onigashimasu fucking change right. right i'm not gonna sit with I her mean, to be fair that is a that is a waste of money like but it's wasting my time well, it's, don't, it's don't, a waste of the host a time. lot of the host clubs they offer uh unlimited drinks for yeah, the, exactly for the first 60 minutes you're in there yeah right, right, right. um and and it's normally considerably cheaper yeah um, it's, it's fucking cheap it's like it's like 1000 yen for like all you can drink yeah so, so i guess 600. i guess girls yeah. just come in to just yeah drink, because right? the next drink if you buy one beer it's like it's like 30 bucks yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so, uh, everything's like 10 times the fucking so, yeah. you know, market price mm, yeah I mean, it's, it's like that with a lot of like, even girls bars as well. That's how you, they get you in, right? They yeah. get you in for the all you can drink and then and then they sell you on other stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Luckily, I think guys are a bit easier to convince to stay in the bar than, uh, than, <laughs> than fucking you know, girls, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, th I think they're like, oh, hot girl. Like, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> like one thing that I've always been curious about is like how cutthroat is it? How, how cutthroat is this industry? Honestly, again, this comes down to what kind of club you work at. Um, the place I was at, you know, it's like fucking teddy bears and sugar daddies. And you're coming and on trash station. You're cleaning our set for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I, feel, I feel bad, you know. Well, they're, not, they're not a lot of the host clubs. I don't, I don't know if you also did this, but they, they rank all the staff, right? Oh yeah, they were. So this is some anime shit. Like, what well, they mean? have to, because at the entrance. Um, so at my peak, I was number three out of 20 people that were working there. Nice. Um, yeah, fuck yeah. S rank. So, S rank. <laughs> you people got power rankings yeah. here. But, but can again, you be Goku? <laughs> oh, shit. Go, you know, Drip Goku was always at the top. <laughs> so, I will get to that one day. Um, at the entrance of the club, you usually have like a little poster that says who has the most amount of shime, mm, which right. is girls that come in and choose you as, as like their daddy, basically. Right, right. Whenever right. they come in, they want to sit with you. <laughs> right. Did you have to use the word daddy? Oh, Bro, what, what's the equivalent in English? Shime. Like, hey, dozo. Like honey? I don't know. Daddy, sure. Uh, he gives you money. Is yeah, exactly. Yeah. Would you, would you call him daddy? Daddy, daddy. daddy really? No. <laughs> you're asking the wrong person. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, carry on, carry on. All right, yeah, yeah. daddy, anyway. Um, so yeah, you they display that because mm. as I mentioned, the value of your host club is also elevated by what kind of person you have there. Mm. So yeah. some clubs, they have this one host who's like the industry head like top right and if he moves it's like a good example would be league of legends professional scene now right. you're talking yeah, my language boy, let's yeah. go. <laughs> do, you, do you mean at any sport yeah. Yeah. Hey, shut the fuck up no, no. Only, only league of legends only league. About the one i know <laughs> so for example if double lifts change teams <laughs> Who's gonna follow him? The fans. And in League of Legends professional scene, the fans make up the entirety. Merch, you know, like the, the feeling the stage, generally yeah. all the hype of the Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's the same with host clubs. So people aren't loyal to the host club. They're loyal, they're, they're loyal, loyal to, to the, the host. host. Depends. Some host clubs have a huge history, like Prachina. Yeah. They're known to be a fucking, you know, industry standard mm -hmm. in terms of being like a really high end club with spectacular service mm -hmm. and having the best hosts right. but there are some you know newbie clubs that are elevated by perhaps recruiting these guys who work at these prestigious oh, clubs nice. and raise their name value oh, right. so so it's right. literally so it is it's literally like they're trying to like poach the best players at yes this for, sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure wow, man i guess, I guess an, all this anime ranking system which is based off the host <laughs> it comes yeah. off the host industry Bro, <laughs> it's it's strange you know in japan how in some ways they don't like the work culture is so like against ranking anyone against each other, but right. then there's certain industries where it's like, you're ranked against everyone. This, if you fail, you are fucking eliminated. I mean, Japanese Get schools out. do that shit as yeah, well. Exactly. Yeah, it's strange. Yeah, yeah like it's... like an end of year exam and like a w two weeks later when they finish marking it, there's huge fucking, like, it's yeah, not yeah, all schools, yeah, yeah, yeah. but most schools have these huge fucking posters saying like, here's the top 100 placements. Yeah, I, I just realized fucking host club just sounds like ranked ELO. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like well, it's, technically, it's, money, it's, money, <laughs> money is ELO. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Technically, right? Gart, you're fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> but then, not like the dichotomy is that they have lifetime contracts where right? workers can't be fired from companies. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's just so weird. Yeah. It's like pick one. It's like okay, so I so I'm not gonna get fired from my job just because I'm a low ranking. You just 
literally did it to make me feel like shit. Yeah. <laughs> like that's the only okay. reason. So, but, so you were number three out of all this thing yeah. for a time being. Okay. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's crazy. How fast? How how fast did it take you to get to number three? Years, bro. Like, yes, I, okay. I assume that's difficult, right? Because yeah. like you hard. have to build your clientele, right? Mm. Like as I mentioned, the tactic that I was employing, it's not really customer friendly. Mm -hmm. You know, most Japanese ladies are not used to some gaijin with a beard coming up to them, and be like, "Why are you here? Why are you paying money <laughs> to see guys when you can just go to a club, yeah, or anywhere?" Yeah. So the people that actually stuck around to drink with me, they're like open-minded people. Mm -hmm. They wanted to mostly hear about my experiences in life. You know, living abroad, experiencing going to a bunch of countries, mm -hmm. having fucked yeah. up parties and if, stuff. If you don't mind me asking, what is the normal clientele demographic? So it really changes, man. Okay. So most people might imagine it's like. Obachans, you know, oh, like, yeah. you know, old ladies with the like, yeah. rich husbands. <laughs> yeah. But to your surprise, you actually get like, you know, early 20s, like idols and stuff sometimes. Really? Like, oh, okay. uh, I mean, you know. I, guess, I guess that kind of makes sense, right? Because in what environment can an idol just go out and just be comfortable? Right, right. in, in a normal cool. environment. I, 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 I mean, guess, maybe I guess maybe not like the super popular ones, but like especially like all the underground idols. Like, yeah, yeah. And there's a shitload of them. Yeah, there's like, a shitload of them, bro. Where they, they don't really have like a, a, an image to keep, I guess, yeah. as, as as strong as like say like AKB48 or something, right? Yeah. So they they can go to a host club. With, yeah, because yeah. because you know, as someone who grew up you know abroad from Japan. Do you think the host environment can work in like any other country or is it just like something that's only in Japan and Fuck no. only because of Bro, the social structure? You do that in Turkey? <laughs> <laughs> you do that in Turkey? <laughs> Bro, you, you have a fucking like <laughs> army of taxi drivers ready to beat you out. Like literally, <laughs> why taxi driver? <laughs> bro, because they're like they're like the mafia of Turkey. Bro. <laughs> Dude, in Turkey, they say don't fuck with bus drivers and <coughs> taxi drivers because they're all like a, you know, gang. Yeah. You fuck with one of them, you 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 call up the entire neighborhood. Why, dude? Like, I, I shit so you. I need to see this. Oh, is that the did someone you? call a taxi? Gives a one star Uber dude, review. This, Boy, this, he cracks knuckles. This is, <laughs> guys, this, this is real though. This is huge because really? um, I don't know if I told you guys, but like yeah. in the past three years, when I go back to Turkey, yeah. um, I always find this one taxi guy who can like quote unquote, chauffeur me around. Yeah. But that's because Turkish currency is shit right now. So, you know, I can take cabs anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. But once you're really good with the taxi guy and, you know, treat him like your own personal driver and you get to experience what kind of life he lives, mm -hmm. man, wherever district you go to, he calls somebody up and says, you know, what's the next target? You have any customers around here? Talk okay, let, let me let me <laughs> redirect these people to your way. Bro, they work like a hive mind, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> They just sound like a bunch of like organized assassins. Dude, like, they're, they're insane, bro. They've all got barcodes in the so, background. Yeah. <laughs> like whenever you get into trouble, you call one of them, like my main <laughs> homie, and then he will call this homie's homie. And then in 10 minutes, you will have like 30 fucking guys ready for you. <laughs> I shit you not. That, that's the benefit of what being- What is going on in Turkey? <laughs> bro, it's all about connections what, 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 and what, people you meet, man. I why taxi not. drivers? Because they're amazing, bro. They get everywhere. I mean, yeah, yeah. They, they, they know everybody, bro. Because who talks to customers the most? Barbers and taxi drivers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not in Japan because they suck here, but in <laughs> Turkey, like yeah. you get on. First thing they say is like, "What's your religion? Home? Why are you I here? <laughs> yeah, bro, why are you here?" <laughs> the CIA. I sleep. Yeah. Turkish taxi drivers. <laughs> that's yeah. the real <laughs> shit. Yo, on, honestly, 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 people don't know about this. It's fucking underground. Like John Snowden just moved to Turkey and like, all right, uh, now I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I, I've forgotten on, completely uh, where we've gotten up to. That yeah, was like one of the weirdest tangents yeah, I've, ever, yeah, yeah, right. I've ever gone on. Going back mm. to, uh, I think, yes, what sir. we were talking about before uh -huh. with uh, taxi drivers, um, what are like some of the most interesting clientele that you've had? One of the was taxi drivers uh, before taxi. Drivers. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's a, back to taxi we're drivers. talking about demographics and shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So you said um, you had like really, really like young girls, like in, in like early twenties and stuff. Yeah. You know, like people, the audience would kill to drink with. You know, yeah. or <laughs> lay eyes upon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mean to brag. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So humble. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. So right, he yeah. knew a lot of models and stuff. And oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so he was really well versed in the whole, you know. So he'd invite the models to like come. To yeah, the he would invite right, his like right. people he he works with, who mm -hmm. he works with, to the club, mm -hmm. and then you know we would have a jolly good time together. Mm -hmm. Who who were like some of the most like I guess 
memorable ones you had. Memorable. Because I'm sure you've met like a, a wide array of like different characters. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. honestly, the young girls um not really memorable because at the end of the day, if you lived in Japan your whole life and never left the country, mm -hmm. like, with the lack of life experience, mm -hmm. there's not much I can gain out of you. It's right. mostly me talking about myself and like, you know, I used to party like that, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But it gets old after a while. Yeah. Right. So the best client that I ever had, and I still still do see sometimes to this day, is a very, you know, senior lady mm -hmm. who is just there for, you know, gaining more friends in life. Mm. Okay. Someone who's like above 60. Mm -hmm. right. she, she doesn't need to do anything. You know, she's like chauffeur in a Bentley. She comes to the place in a chauffeur, chauffeur manner. Mm. Yeah. Comes in, spends money, leaves. But the stories she has is something. Really? You know, spending time with her is, you know, that's when I feel like I'm actually doing something. Mm. In right. My life. <clears throat> so that's what you enjoy about uh, being a host, I guess, is hearing interesting stories, hearing about life experiences. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <clears throat> it, it gets boring after a while, you know, just talking about yourself. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> a lot of things just fell there. Yeah. So maybe I jinx something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my patron. I'm not, uh, I, I, I guess it makes sense, right? Because there's only so many times where you can tell your life story and get the same old it's the goal yeah, over and over again, right? Man. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, yeah you know uh, that, that would get boring. What do you think? Like makes a like a successful host? Then is is it the gimmick? Do you need like a unique gimmick? to be like a successful host? Well, looks definitely don't mean shit in the grand oh, scheme okay. of things. Yeah, no. Which is weird because you'd think that well, that, that would that, mean that, something, that, right? Yeah, yeah. A, lot yeah. of, a lot of that, comments on the YouTube video were like, well, some of these guys aren't beautiful. And it's like, yeah, yeah. you don't have to be. That uh, has like a surface level value to it. Like right. mm -hmm. first impression. First impression, yeah. yeah. But after that, it's all about your demeanor, the way you fucking carry yourself forward, how you present yourself. Mm -hmm. And most people, employ what i guess what i just told you guys about which is don't talk about personal stuff mm. yeah compliment them with beautiful eyes whatever and then try to get them to like you in that way everybody has their own shtick mm. yeah to a certain degree <coughs> so you'd say like personality is way more important right? yeah 100 percent. yeah man. like in real life yeah like in yeah, real like life in real life holy shit. honestly but this is what where i want to mention my you know most respected hostel related person which is Dorando san he's like the so, top of the top so well <laughs> he's not even a hostel anymore no, not anymore. Right. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he yeah. was. So Explain what Roland is to the audience. So yeah. to those that don't know, um, please, this is Rolando. Check him out. But to those who don't know, Rolando started off as a hostel in his early 20s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you got to like plan out these like six, man. Like do it when someone else is talking or something, it's you good. know? You do realize there are people who listen audio only, right? <laughs> yeah. So there's just like oh. a long pause. It's like, oh, okay, well then you fill the gap for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you do it, so like out of nowhere. So I was like, oh, so, oh, what shit. happened? It's like, oh shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, so Roland, right? Yeah. So he started as a normal host, yeah. and he climbed his way through. He went to Prachina, and then he went to his own club called Zakrabu. Mm. Um, basically, man, this guy, prove to the world that hosto is not something that only dumbasses who fail at life do. Mm -hmm. It's sh what shrewd businessman can do to leverage their position. Yeah, Cause he's like super smart, right? Bro, he's, he's, you know, he has- I mean, not just like street smart, but he's also like actually e exactly. smart, right? Yeah. But the fact that he always keeps his own hosto values, which is how arrogant he is, mm -hmm. the way he brings himself forward. Like mm -hmm. he always knows and shows that he's the best looking and the smartest guy in the room. Right, yeah. right. You know, in J Japanese culture, it's always about like, I don't say mas, you know, like a bit being below the other person. Being, at all being times. humble, right? Exactly. Yeah. But he, t yeah. he takes this and then flips on the, you know, mm -hmm. and then basically like mounts on you. Right. And like these poor Japanese businessmen, they're just like, oh my God, they don't know how to handle it. I mean, so, he, so basically he's a Chad. Yeah, he's a fucking, <laughs> dude, he's a fucking Chad. He's like a giga Chad. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm surprised you guys didn't like collab or do anything with him yet, you know? <laughs> that, that, why uh, would he give a shit? Yeah, yeah, why would he give a shit? Yeah, about I don't even know if he speaks English. Well, the thing is, you know, um, diversifying yeah. into the foreign market. I mean, I, I'd like to do something with him. If Hold on, the, I try he yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I Because I've known about him for such a long time because at one point, especially when he had just come out of the host business and like uh -huh. started his own company and exactly, like ran exactly. and shit like that, like he was everywhere on Japanese TV. Like mm -hmm. he was like, he's probably like, 
I would say on in the grander scale of Japanese like entertainment, he's yeah. probably the most well known host ever. Absolutely, right? bro. Yeah. Absolutely. So like it, it was just really interesting because like I, I read up on him as well because I was like, who's this fucking Roland guy? Yeah. And I read up on him and he's like, yeah, like you can tell this guy is just like so fucking street smart when it comes to like business and stuff like yeah. that. And like he clearly knows his way on making himself well you, you gotta be big. street smart to be a fucking host right? right but like i think as as jan said it completely flipped society's impressions of what hosts can be right yeah right. because it's yeah uh, as you said like to everyone hosts were just like good looking dudes who have nowhere to go and yeah, just like want to like talk to chicks for money yeah, blah, yeah, yeah, blah. yeah but like i think roland completely flipped that over and was like no you don't have to be like that to no. be a successful host exactly. if anything doing that doesn't make you a successful host, exactly right? Yeah. and right the most like impressive thing about <laughs> Roland is the way he approaches, you know, his customers. Mm. Yeah. As I mentioned, my main impression is through him. Well, I discovered him after I became a host, to mm. be honest with you. Mm. But then I discovered the way I do things similar to him, which is be arrogant. Be, well, be arrogant. <laughs> be arrogant about yourself because I know for a fact that within the entire district of Ikebukuro, I have more like life experience, yeah. quote unquote, yeah. mm -hmm. than anybody that you can meet there. Yeah. But yeah. with that as a leverage. What I try to do is, you know, levitate the other person. Mm. You know, I want the, the customer to leave my presence yeah. with a feeling of, you know, rejuvenation. Something like, <laughs> like, 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 holy, like, <laughs> the, the words you're using. Yeah. I don't know if it's, well, 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 you, you just, you say it as if they came out of a baptism. Well, right? yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I, I want, it sounds like you're saying a religion. Yeah. I'm a new man. <laughs> where do you think, uh, you know, life experience comes from? Where, where do you think you learn life experience? Mine. Well, in general, where do you think it comes from? Well, just, I'm tackling what? new activities in different places with people we have never met before. Mm. Mm. Like if you've stayed in Japan your whole life, never left the fucking you know neighborhood, versus someone who's traveled the world, especially like if you live in the you know vicinity of Europe. Mm. Like, yeah, you, know, you can't just go to like twenty different countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like easily. That's the good thing about Europe. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just or, for me, because yeah. like to me, the concept of driving to another country is so <laughs> boy. Cool. Because like Japan, you can't do that. <laughs> Australia, you sure as yeah, shit yeah, can't yeah. do that. I can't even drive to the next state. <laughs> right. So it's like exactly. it's so cool to think that in such a small space there are so many cultures. Right. So mm. I'm, I've always been jealous of like especially you guys. Like, like the fact that you guys lived in the UK and like. You know, didn't explore all of Europe. I've been like, a lot of Europe. Yeah? yeah. What's your favorite European but country? But I feel yeah, that's the way to do it, though. Austria. Austria. Austria is like chill Germany. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the Germans will be thrilled to hear that. <laughs> know, German, Germans know they love their rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Austria's got like everything that Germany has. That's true, yeah. that's but true, it's like that's chill. True. Right. <laughs> Wait, where's your favorite? That's not Turkey. Oh man. Czech Republic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Czech Ooh, Republic's okay. fun too. Uh -huh, I've heard really sure, good things bro. about Czech. So yeah. I'm yeah. rubbing my foot against your leg. Nah, it's all good, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting into it. <laughs> bro, yeah. Praha though, man. Like it's middle of Europe, Germany, like Berlin is like five hour bus yeah. away. So you can, mm. you know, yeah. techno yeah. clubs, whatever. In the UK, right? People are just obsessed with getting cheap holidays. Mm. Right? Yeah. So, then yeah. Prague, bro. so I ended up going to like really odd places that you would like never go to mm. for any normal reason. Cause someone was like, we're having a wedding there. Like I went to Malta. Like, I was probably like the four Malta viewers who are watching this. It's like, what? I've been to Malta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what yeah. for? A uh, cheap holiday, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a really cool place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, just is. Like, it is. Why would you? Like, you yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah. Not, you, know, you, you, know. You, you go to a travel agent sometimes in England and they just, they just like, there are these like certain dealer, countries. Like, we have a country. Yeah. You might well, know. There's, there's a good, good deal price. going on. There's yeah. a good deal going on in this country right now. Yeah. So, like you know, Malta, I feel that's, I went the, to, I, I feel that's yeah. the best though, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Area, yeah. Cyprus. Because Greece, those aren't countries Cyprus. that Cyprus, you- Cyprus, fake Turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, Cyprus's history is like half, half Greek, it's half Germany. Maybe we should talk about it. like there's some beef going on there. So they attack you guys, yeah, we should probably cut that one out. Nah, it's fine. Yeah, They'll it's understand. Yeah. They'll understand. We shit on countries all the time. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's your beef, right? You said yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You're the one that said not us. Well, I'm Turkish. That's why. Hey, so, you're Turkish, so it's it's all good. You have horse in this race. If I say it, yeah. it's just like so. Oh, just look forward to a lot of yeah. people from Cyprus coming into your <laughs> chat to just remind you of what you said. My Twitch stream just to shit on me. Well done, guys. <laughs> Let's go. No, but like that's the thing, right? It's like I. That's what I like about Europe, though, is because there's like the the countries that everyone knows that mm. everyone wants to yeah. go to, like Italy, France, Spain. You know, the ones that you think of when you think Europe. Yeah. But then you realize that there are so much more and even these tiny countries there's so much like unique culture yeah, yeah. just within that so it's like for me it's like i want to try and go to as much of europe as i possibly can problem is 
my entire life, it's been on the other side of the fucking world. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's like the grass is greener on the greener on the other side, right? Because yeah. for me, I never fully took advantage of that because I was like so obsessed with exploring Asia. Mm. Like I, I just uh. loved like exploring Asian countries yeah. that I just didn't realize what the fuck was in my backyard my entire <laughs> life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? like my, my, my parents fought, like took me. Like, I didn't have a choice, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I probably wouldn't have gone. I would have definitely gone to Asia or America. Right, yeah, right. Because like for me, I grew up and I'm just like, oh, mom and dad, are we going on holiday? Oh, is it is it Thailand again? Oh, we're we, we, we going to see grandma again for like the, uh, so you know, the, the 20th time in my life yeah, yeah. for me, like being 20 years old. So, you know, that was like holidays for me. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But like getting back to what, what, where, where did we get to the fucking host thing again? Shit. So, so you were talking about the, 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 the very child. rich 60 year old, yeah. uh, bougie. Oh yeah, lady. man. Like in honesty, like, I don't know if she will ever watch this, but there, what I really like about her, it's, how seductive she is in the <laughs> in the way she just like conducts herself. Like, she, I feel she, that was bro. a better choice for words there. <laughs> Dude, to be honest, <laughs> well, well, she, she is though. Like, yeah. like, what? <laughs> she, she would just she would just ask me like, "Hey, John, how was your day?" But like the way she does it, yeah. the way she moves her body, the way she has eye contact, like she just it's it's like someone who's aware of every single like muscle movement in their body. <laughs> and, you know, and, and, and like I, I just watch her and I just like melt away. You know, I'm like, you know, keep talking to me, please. And that's too fair. I guess six year old Japanese women look a lot younger than six. That is true. Yeah. Six year old, six year old Japanese women can look thirty if Bro, they want. She yeah. looks magnificent. Like you would, <laughs> you would, you would barely <laughs> think she's over thirty five. Oh, he's turning on the host mode. Yeah. 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 And she would always come in. Does she have pretty eyes? <laughs> she's beautiful. Yeah. Like, she's actually beautiful. So she, is that she, what you tell her? Is that what you tell her? Obviously, I always, I always no? tell her like, you know. Well, clearly he actually yeah, feels yeah, that yeah. way. He, yeah. actually, he actually brings it up. Probably yeah. something like you're describing the love of your life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's going on? No, I just, you know, like since she, I also respect her a lot because mm. yeah. you know, of her experiences in general, mm -hmm. you know, she has a lot to talk about, but also the fact that she's such self-aware person mm. who's able to make me feel the way I do. That's something, you know, yeah. it's right. stuff like the, the, you know, the idol girls can't do, you know? Yeah. yeah I speak yeah. to these girls and I just feel like, wow, you're fucking stupid, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that's just the truth though. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. when you're speaking and- <laughs> I mean, you must've met some really stupid girls if, if you're saying that. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 I don't mean it that way. I didn't mean it that way. That came out wrong. That came out wrong. I'm, I'm talking. No, 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 no. Let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. I'm not calling you stupid. I mean, you've met a lot of stupid people. Are they? Yeah. Okay. So, like, your level of stupid must be like really, really stupid because okay, you've met all sorts of different people. I realize that came out very wrong. He saved it at a last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not calling Jan stupid. I would like to say we do not have our mans right now. Yeah. This is not our. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm in the corner over here. I'm backed into, I'm literally backed into a corner. <laughs> you, 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 just, you just put like the, you know, fucking black hole spin in the interstellar. You know, <laughs> yeah. moment, I, I pulled some, out. Sometimes yeah. you're on a night out with a bro and you're just like, you know what? If, if you're doing this, I'm sorry, man. I don't have your back, man. Sorry. I'm going to the toilet. <laughs> I'm going to the toilet for this one. You know, there are some times you're like, yeah. Got your back, anything you mm. do, Joey. Sometimes just yeah. like- yeah. I, I was getting ready to call my, you know, taxi driver home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, please, anything but the taxi driver. Go I'd rather you call you the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay. So you were the third best host. Like how much grinding did you need to do? How, how much grinding on the on the ladder did Ooh, you need to do, man? Fuck like, off. I guess, I, I, guess, I guess like what is, what constitutes as grinding in the host? Well, See, that's a good thing. So yeah. I guess I can go into like the um, downsides of being a host though at this point. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, tying it back down to why people even go to the host club. Mm. So the reason is because you can only find a host though in the host club. Right. right. Why? Because the guy is working in the evening until morning sometimes. Mm -hmm. He sleeps, he wakes up, he does his you know, daily course, chores, and then he has to go to work again. And it's like 5 p.m. Mm. Yeah. So that's why the only time you can see a hostel is, you know, at the club. All right. But as like a, you know, successful hostel who has a bunch of clients that they're juggling, you have to go to lunches, you have to go to their birthdays, you have to go to anniversaries or whatever the sorts to mm. Disneyland. And you have to spend a lot of money on gifts. Right. Because when you go on a date with them outside exactly. of the host, this club, is something you, you pay for everything, right? Yeah. During the day when you see them, I mean, I don't do that because yeah. I never went on a date with a girl during the day because mm -hmm. I just didn't care. All right. Right. But number one guy, 
I mean, that's the difference between me and the number one guy because that's what he did. Right. right. You know, he would sleep like two hours and then he would go on a date with a girl to Disneyland, act like he's having fun, buy shit at the Disney store. You know, so it's, yeah. it's literally like school. It's like if you do extracurricular <laughs> activities, you're going to be like placed high. Yeah, right? but so you have to. Same thing. Because it's like a give and take, right? Yeah. The, the more you invest in the girls that you hang out with, the more they want to give back. Mm. But, you know, that, that's not what I was interested in. I yeah. always made my interest very clear from the beginning, which is. Why the fuck are you here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to collect data, bro. Yeah. This literally just sounds like Persona 5. Like, yeah. you, know, like, you, you like bring a gift, like the social rank increases sometimes. <laughs> <Like me now. laughs> Does your mind just like connect everything with the yes. gotcha in general? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. 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 Shit, Persona 5's not gotcha. Persona 5's not gotcha. I know, but like that system is very well you know, social incorporated. Social get it, social get it. Yeah, okay. yeah it, it is. It's like you go on a date. If, if you want the girl to fight on, so alongside you during the battle, then you got to be nice to them in the real yeah. world, right? <laughs> Just it's the exact simulation. same thing. This is a simulation. Persona 5 is a host simulator. <laughs> Yo, discovery of the century. Discovery of the century. God damn. Jeez. Okay, yeah, cause like, oh my God. Cause like, yeah, when you said gift, like giving gifts and stuff like that, and the host has to give gifts. I can't imagine how many gifts you have to give considering Japan's gift giving culture is yeah. already Dude, insane. It's batshit crazy, bro. Yeah. The number one host though, he would tell me, depending on the month, on how the stars align and how many people have you know, anniversaries and shit yeah. in that month. Yeah. He might spend up to 70% of his income of that month on just gifting shit. Going to places, doing shit. Right. Right. You know? But I guess that's like an that investment for him for sorts, right? Yeah. Fun. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then when, when your birthday comes and then you're calling like 14 girls to your birthday and yeah. they're all paying like. Dude, that, that schedule must be yeah, first oh, fuck, five right? grand each. That, that's, that's the payout yeah, day. Yeah. That's his payday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? I, I saw like advertisements of like one host that he'd made over a hundred thousand dollars in one night from his birthday. Bro, easy, bro. Yeah. Easy. Hundred thousand dollars from from gifts or uh, just from people coming. You know, gifts. Yeah. Everything. Right, right, that, right. That's when Sh you just champagne tower that they yeah. build for you. That's when you like you, you. That that's an actual person who wishes their birthday was two days. Yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> the yeah. one guy who's like, can I have a birthday month, yeah. please? <laughs> like, That'd I can't be believe I've got 24 hours in my birthday. Like, I guess I'm not sleeping tonight because that's like oh, an extra like fucking 10K like that I could be earning. Yeah. 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 Yeah, right? I wonder what I'll get. Yeah. <laughs> well, one thing I, I remember uh, de be definitely being a um, definite downside, I'd say, is that a lot of them, you know, a lot of them seemed like they had uh, developed uh, an alcohol addiction of sorts. Because oh. you, you're forced to drink yeah. almost every day. All right. To a lot, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Can we go over the, the whole drinking culture? Uh, sure. Oh, sure. Let's do it. Yeah, Let's do it, it seems it. insane. And like these he dudes. says with a bottle oh. of gin on the table. It. Okay, uh, <laughs> He's literally really like, finished yeah. a quarter of his gin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, one thing that I found really weird uh -huh. is that they were all just talking to each other and joking about how they had all been like throwing up that morning because they yeah, were so yeah, hungover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. And then I was like, how, how often do you, I don't, I'm not sure if it's in the video. So how often do you like get so drunk that you throw up? He was like, yeah, three, four times a week. Yeah. Three, four times a week. That's just yeah. throwing up that's from nuts. drinking. That's insane. That's yeah. that's insane. How yeah. much do you have to drink on like a regular working night? Um, For me, it was mostly just about how much I, I want. Yeah. yeah. So, so are you allowed to, so say if like one of your clientele like buys you a drink, uh -huh. can, you, can you say no to it? Exactly. So you the, the, money? the way the structure <laughs> within the host club works is yeah. if you're the one coming in with a client already mm, that yeah. you met, you sit at the table side like us. Right. And across from us, you would have a head of a helping person right, right, who right. would be the one arranging the drinks, pouring shit for yeah, you. I did this. Oh. I did, you know, the peasantry work, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff I haven't done in ages. Was, was he was he a host himself or is it just- Yeah, they're, they're all host though. They're all host though. Oh, so but it's, it's someone just, who was like low down rookie, in the yeah, ranking. I mean, rookie. it's, it's you know, if you don't have a girl for yourself, then might as well help your bro kind of thing. Right, right, right. right, right. right. And your specific job is to just drink so that your homie doesn't have to drink so yeah. he can persuade the girl to buy more drinks so that you can drink kind of thing. Right. So yeah. he literally gets paid to drink your drinks? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because, because you, so I, I don't know if we've said this in the episode, but like the way that hosts make money is from them buying drinks, right? So yeah, you, for yeah. sure. So and food too, bro. So you get a cut of every single drink? Or how, how does it work? Um, well, at the end of the night, depending on the payment, but usually you get 40% of the spend, spend Spending, like the gross spending. So if they yeah. buy a fifteen dollar drink, you might get like yeah. If the five, girls spend a thousand, yeah, why did you choose fifteen? Like if you bought a ten dollar drink, <laughs> just, you, yeah, get you get four dollars. You get four dollars. Let's see a thousand more realistic number. 
Okay. Then you'd right. be like 400 bucks that you'll make. Right. right. Just drinking with somebody. Man, why, yeah. why are you hiring hosts? Just hire like a fucking Aussie in the back room. Just like drinking yeah. all yeah. for you. See, <laughs> like does that Aussie speak Japanese? <laughs> no, no, no. That's why at the beginning of the episode, I no. said he could be a great host. No, no. <laughs> Go, going with how this story has gone, I wouldn't be a great host. I'd be a great host who helps his hobby finish his wait, dream. Wait, wait. So, 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 so this guy, this guy. I would, this... I would basically be an extra liver for you. So, so, so this helper guy, he will sit at the table while you, while you're, while you're talking and he yeah. will drink your drink that this girl was yeah. bought for you. He yeah. doesn't talk, right? He's, no, he, of course he talks. You have to make good conversation because oh, I was doing that okay. for two years, bro. Okay. What you have to do is just make conversation. But like, how do you not step on the other guy's toes if it's his girl? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's his girl. Well, sometimes some treacherous shit happens. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Backstabbing. Yeah. Do you have when, any examples when, or stories? Yeah, of course. Oh, when, do when. share. Well, mostly, if you can. <laughs> mostly happened between me and the number one guy of the place I worked at, because we we're right. really close homies. Yeah. Because yeah. number one guy was very interesting, man. Mm. This yeah. guy, he was a normal salary man in the architecture business, earning a you know good salary right. for world standard until he was 27. Right. And one day he said, fuck this, I'm just gonna become a host. Literally, like he just gave up everything. He said, you know, I don't care about it anymore. I'm All just right. gonna become a host. And he's fucking successful at it. You know, right. Dude is genius. All he's right. very smart, very good looking, feminine as fuck, but that just- That's how it works in Japan. That's yeah. just the way it is. Yeah. But this guy, for example, what were we talking about, by the way? <laughs> Uh, the drinks are in him. Did, they, uh, did, they, uh, did you ever have like, cause obviously you have the helper and the main guy. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. So when, when this guy brings and you know, like there, there will be evenings where the number one guy would invite like seven, eight different girls mm. yeah. at the same time. Yeah. So he like, we would have How to like- get pissed off? See, they can't say anything. What are the girls gonna say? I'm, I'm mad that you're you so asshole. successful. Yeah, the, girl, the girls can say like, um, I'm buying you drinks. Give what me more attention. Yeah. Well, he says, well, Sucks for you. Other girls want me too. But they don't yeah. want it. Get the fuck out. No, because then That's they what would they say, bro. This, what they would do is they'd be like, hey, uh, if you want your turn, you gotta buy me the champagne thing. That yeah, costs exactly. Like 10 you want to stay? Champagne is right there. We can pop it and I'll wow. stay. It's literally Jesus. like some kind of like fucking squid game ass thing where like putting them against each other. Yeah, like, right. Yeah. But in the essence of it, it's really kind of like a. It's taking advantage kind of thing. Of course Mind it is. It's games. absolutely taking advantage. Yeah. But yeah. but in the grand scheme of things, uh. the girls are the ones who decide to come come back to it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're not I guess they're not helping. You know, you're, you're not tying them down. You know? Right, right, right. Strange. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. In some ways it, it, yeah, that's one way to look at it, but I'm sure there's it's way deeper than that, right? It's yeah. Not, I feel like yeah, I don't know. It's it depends difficult. on the person, I guess, right? Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I, mean, I mean, it just feels like the host the entire host culture and the entire host world just works on like obviously different social rules and different social mm. values. I mean, they, yeah. that's, I mean, none of them would probably be in a host club if that wasn't the case, right? right? I mean, it's I mean, for we're sure, we're for four sure. guys talking about why women might go to it, right? We probably don't <laughs> understand it as well as we think we that do. That is true, yeah. So yeah. I feel like, they, you know, I don't want to come off as misogynistic or anything. Like no. that. Yeah. Just, we just want dick, bro. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I'm sure there's a, lo there's a lot more layers to it yeah. that we don't understand. And I, I don't understand the culture. Yeah, we're obviously yeah. just talking from like a surface. No, but I, 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 right? I honestly yeah. just find it fascinating. Yeah. You know, Didn't they go over it though? Like the, why, why the demographic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but I'm sure I'm, I'm sure not all girls are like that though, right? In what I'm, I'm, I'm like sure. why they come back to- Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's, oh, there's, there's a lot more to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it's one of those things as well. And, and I don't know, I feel like as well, because I guess misogyny in Japan is like a thing, I mean, like a bit more than the West, I'd probably say. I mm -hmm. mean, it's like, I mean, the, the rules are structured around it, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. <clears throat> well- And the, the laws as well. The, the interesting thing about that is, um, so in any culture, whether Japanese or whatever, yeah. mm -hmm. girls are attracted towards what's you know perceived as an alpha, right? Right. Someone right. who Sigma. seems Sigma. 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 someone who someone who seems to dominate the environment. Someone okay. who seems okay. like they're on top of things. So the way the host I think it's so, in Japanese. Yeah. So in terms of the hostel industry in itself, mm -hmm. it's made so that if it's a girl that you know that you invited is coming over, everybody around you, including the shacho. You know, the owner of the business will do everything in their power to make you look like the rock star of the business. Yeah. Right, right, right. For the time being. Because they understand that if they do that, the girls will be like, oh my God, you know, the guy I've chosen, you know, he fucking owns the place. Right, you know, right. The, the, sh the little owner of the fucking bar is bending over, fucking, you know, doing backflips just to like please my homie. So, right, you know. right. I must have chosen the right guy. It's all an act. It's just all an act. Well, it's not, though. The thing is, at least the way I acted, you know, 
Yeah. Well, okay. Well, your <laughs> act is your act comes from some kind of basis of yeah. you as a person. Right? Yeah, exactly. And like, I'm sure all the other hosts do that, right? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. like sure? how how much how much are like the hosts have like a genuine personality behind their character, and how much is just like completely made up? Ooh. You know. That depends from person to person. Right. Like, right. I'm sure you've seen both cases, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Some of them really try to play it up. Mm. Right? Yeah. And it's just not them at all. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. But sometimes, I mean, you know, like Piggy Boy that you, <laughs> <laughs> that you, you went on a date with, yeah. you know, like that guy, bro, you know. <laughs> it was it was really bizarre because I, I didn't quite come across in the video, but I because obviously it was cut in like five minutes, mm. like the whole part. Of it. Yeah. But, he had this one uh, girl in that video who we, we blurred out, uh, who was like obsessed with him. Right. But like, he like didn't give her the time of day. Like he barely gave any attention to her. And yeah, of he course. Was that's like, what she likes, bro. Yeah. It was so weird watching it. It was like, he literally couldn't give a fuck. And she was like, I'm going to marry him. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it was so, it was so strange, wasn't it, Maylene? Like watching this, uh, <laughs> This guy. Right, Malin? Right, yeah, right, right, Malin? Back me up. Back me up, up Malin. No, back, back you up. Back your homie up. Like, get your mans, Malin. Get your mans. Do you remember how like, obsessed this girl was about the main host? And he just like didn't give a fuck. Yeah. And it was like, she bought, she spent, she bought me the champagne because he was like, oh, I want to, I want to impress. Yeah, the, this the guy. Yeah. So she, God knows how much she spent on that champagne. Because the cheapest one I saw was like 5K something. <sighs> Dollars. Yeah, dollars. <laughs> well, from from um, like, so I don't want to know how much he spent just to impress him for like one second. It didn't even seem like he gave a fuck. Right. Well, from from what like I'm hearing right now, you know, like I'd, I'd say like the closest comparison I think of in the West is you know people maybe pay for like a, like an experience if they have like a really weird fetish or something, right? Mm -hmm. And it seems like in Japan this is just like the social fetish in a way where it's just they're paying for like a certain experience yeah. that you know that yeah. maybe maybe they can't you know it was, stay it out was, in normal life. It, it was cool on the but surface. What are you, why, why are you laughing? No, I mean, why are you laughing? <laughs> it's really true though. You know, yeah. Yeah. What's, what's so I, funny I, about it? My, my, I, I was, I, I'm just it, speaking facts, right? He just realized that he worked for a social fetish. <laughs> no, I think that's what he realized. No, I realized that I'm robbing my own fetish too at the same time. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's an ego stroke, right? It's, I mean, it's not like I don't enjoy it, you know. No, it's, it's yeah, yeah. bro. Is there a bigger ego stroke than being paid to like have people talk? Like, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. People pamper you. No, they're, they're, yeah. Come exactly. on, exactly. Yeah. But like, uh, my general impression of it when I left, I was like, I, I, you know, because you have all this fucking anime or on host club, and you hear about host clubs. Oh, the show yeah. cool. These people, yeah. you know, you think it's just kind of like cool, kind of like. Oh. You know, when I left there, I was like, fuck, this is depressing as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say like most of the. Clients there mm. seemed like depressed. Right, like, it was like it was it was hot. The, the hosts or where, where, where where the people coming in? Some, some to, of the hosts bro? and some of the girls. Where the fuck did you go to, man? They just like I, I just felt like they they would just describe it like they had like nothing else to do. Like it was I I, I don't know for me right. it was kind of like yeah. oh god. I'm sure for some girls though that is the case, right? And I that's mean, and I think that's why they go to host clubs yeah. is because yeah, the, exactly. that's the only place where, as you said, like. They've been shit on yeah. the entire day. Yeah, and they just want then, someone to make them feel good. And right? They yeah. have this fucking club, and they got to deal with me pointing the camera in their fucking face. I felt so bad. <laughs> 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 me being awkward as fuck. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, maybe they're only depressed in front of the <laughs> camera. Yeah, <laughs> that might have been. Yeah, that might have been. Yeah. Yeah. been. Like, cool. The one time I get privacy, so you, this dude has a camera. You, you, you disagree with that, or you think it was? It's all like fun. And no, I, I agree with you, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. No, because you know, one thing that I have to always remember is. You know the customers that I attract versus the average Joe is right, very right, different. Yeah, yeah. Right. I guess you're 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 not going. You're not attracting the same types of people that I was being introduced to. I, I Dude, think none of my customers are miserable fucks. Well, the, I, I met I met one person in that video who could speak <laughs> English, and she was super chill. She was really cool. Yeah, yeah right, right. really really nice. Maybe they were miserable time. because they couldn't talk to you. Yeah. But, mm. uh, yeah, but I just saw how they interacted because I was I was getting like live translations in my ear the mm. whole time, and yeah. I was like watching it, and it was uh. like I was like. <laughs> right. What, just, oh, yeah. what was it like the stuff they were talking about was depressing or? Yeah, it was just kind of how like- Or just the atmosphere. The atmosphere, I don't, you know, it was, don't get me wrong. That, that seemed like the club was going well, but right. like so, sometimes they would say things and I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, fuck it. Right, <laughs> like, right, right. Like, you know, they would say something that was like, you know, they were trying to like, I don't know, they were trying to go for something and the mm -hmm. guy was just like, yeah, well, and then yeah. it was just like, oh fuck, like watching car crashes or something. Yeah, like yeah, it was yeah. just like, oh my yeah. God. It's like trying not to cringe compilations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, you know, it was interesting. It's weird. <laughs> it, it is yeah. a weird world. It's what's, strange. What's like some of the weirdest shit you've seen? I'm sure you got stories out the ass for that. 
<laughs> that, that, that you're allowed to tell, <laughs> obviously. Like, like, Mood okay. get ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep, keep in mind we have to air this to like a million people. Yeah, so yeah. What, what, what you can Jesus. say yeah. and uh, not have the fucking yuckers off up our ass or yeah. whatever. He's, he's like, like filtering himself yeah. now. No, like family friendly stories, right? You can no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, if look, we when, when people think, yeah, when to, people yeah. think crazy host stories, they're gonna yeah. think of some crazy. Yeah, we're not, shit. we're not on fucking BBC. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but also you have to think about the current people who employ me as well. You know, they yeah. might oh, see yeah, this shit true, and be like, true. oh wow, this is the guy we're in trust with. Be as generic as possible. Yeah. Okay, some some generic things you've seen in the host industry, or some dodgy things that go on with the host industry. Dodgy things. Yeah. Oh, wow. or, or maybe something you personally experienced that you thought was a bit mm, dodgy. Ooh. Well, I guess um this is an interesting one. So the way they do their shime kokan in Japanese. So this is the way you actually boost your numbers within the industry. Right. Um so shime is as I mentioned in the beginning of the um, episode, this is when you have people choose you as their daddy. Mm. The yeah. more people choose as your daddy, your your rank gets higher. Yeah. yeah. Billboard. So yeah. people notice you more. Mm. Yeah. So one way to do that is go to other clubs like Kabakura, like female oriented clubs as your host boys. Yeah. And then like give girls bars and stuff. Yeah, like that. exactly. And give them your, you know, vote mm. and then tell them this is where I work at. Give you them your yeah, votes. You, you gotta come here to vote for me. And they're like, all right, sure. And then they come vote for you. It's so like presidential campaign. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> politics. <laughs> this, so this is legit. literal politics yeah. right now. But yeah, I guess if you say it that way. <laughs> do, you, do you have like do you have like a tagline and shit like that? So it's like yeah. Jan, I will ask you what you are doing here. <laughs> well, like, oh, I am a Chad. My name is Jan. Yeah. <laughs> wait, so so wait, so would you, did you have to do that as well? Like, you, would you have to go to like girls' bars and like yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff I like that and be like, know. and like oh. <laughs> a lot, dude. My the, the shacho would like just take all of us, yeah. the yeah. people who build that night, or the people who are like chilling with other girls that night. Yeah, yeah. You know, late into the evening because um, host club finished at like twelve p.m. Let's say. Mm. Yeah. And then we would have like a you know subsidiary bar, subsidiary. Yeah. Why, 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 why does it close so early? Why does it close at twelve? The, uh, laws, bro. Uh, you okay. just take you to a different venue. Yeah. And you know, at that bar, it's still same shit. Everything is expensive as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you get to just be a bit more relaxed and then mm. more intimate, let's say. Mm. And at that place, if you're staying there for long, Shacho would come there and be like, yo guys, we're going somewhere and get the boys and go to a club, mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. say after. Mm. It could be like a Kabakura or like whatever you know, establishment you can think of in Tokyo. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, the Shacho would pay for everything. I've seen Shacho pay up to like, you know, six, seven K US in one evening for like three, four guys total. You know? Jeez. It would wow. just shell the fuck out. Mm. But I suppose like considering the amount of money that hosts yeah, make anyway, that's like, water. that's yeah. like- Yeah, bro, the guy water. doesn't care, bro. He's chilling, man, he's chilling. So you would do that and you would go around and interact with the girls at those establishments? Yeah, supposedly. To basically be like, hey, when you come to my club next time, choose me. Well, not when, but like you're coming next week, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a suggestion. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's more like <laughs> it's a command. It's more like ah, kono bottle ra kiru kara raishu kita ne. Right, right, right. You know, like, oh, okay, I'm okay, okay. This bottle for you today. So, so like, you're coming next week Tuesday, right? What happens if yeah. they don't come? Yeah. I mean, nothing. You sound like I'm gonna call the Turkish taxi. Yeah, it's <laughs> so like, if you don't vote for me, yeah. I got a lot of taxi drivers on the line. We're on and the plane then, right now, yeah. Jam, we're yeah. coming. Yeah. And they're not Japanese. See, that, that's not what's gonna happen, but you know, if, if you know anything about Japan, mm -hmm. you know, verbal agreements mean a lot. Yeah, In yeah, Japan, yeah. rather than paper signing, most deals are done through Verbal agreements. That's because is people, that true? I, I I think a lot of things in Japan done by like on paper agreements. Yeah. From my experience, I mean least. that's also true. But if you look, I at think socially more, speaking, yeah, right? socially yeah. and traditionally, for mm. example, like a lot of verbal stuff holds yeah. more value to it, especially mm. if you have like a, it's all about the respect. Like renowned yeah. family, if you're from like a renowned family, for example, and yeah. you don't like uphold your promise, and you know you risk losing that fucking reputation for your family. Yeah, like, your family will fucking like whip you. Yeah, right. yeah. You know? but I mean, that was back in the day, right? Not even, now. even now, bro. Even now? There's, there's a lot of big families. Right. Still to this day, like a lot of people who want to respect their like, you know, upbringing. Lineage, lineage. lineage, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not that many anymore, <clears throat> but right. depending on like the, for example, if you look at like really family owned businesses, mm -hmm. that's how it functions. Right, yeah. right. You know, like 
for example, the people who make like, you know, fudepeng, choreography, how do you the, the, the calligraphy. Like, yeah, calligraphy oh, yeah. pens yeah. Brushes, made out of yeah. like fucking rare, whatever the fuck, hide off or whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you really know your shit, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm just seeing Jan, examples Jan describing here. a girl versus Jan <laughs> describing a pen. <laughs> Yo, she was elegant, moved all of her muscles, yeah. made me I melt. Saw and I saw this fucking pen that was made out of the like, what hair of whatever the, the fuck the animal, animal. Yeah, whatever. whatever yeah. So anyhow, um, you know, imagine you're like the supplier of this hide for this pen and then mm, you're dealing yeah. with the people who make like the holding part, the wooden, you know, yeah. shit. Yeah. You know, you don't make fucking wood paper contracts. You make verbal contracts. Why? Because your relationship date back to like 150 years. Right, 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 right. right. That's what I'm talking about. But okay. I mean, is that the same as making a verbal agreement at a girls bar? <laughs> For you to come the next- Now that you mentioned it. For them to come the next day, right? Like, well, I, I don't think there's many girls in a kabakura who are like, oh fuck, well, I better go to this club. See, I don't want my family on my see, ass. A, a part of it does translate though. Right, what, right. I, what I mean by I'm that- I'm sure it does, but not to the same capacity. No, not right? to the yeah. same capacity, not yeah. in the same like respect values, but in yeah. terms of like, you know, if you're uh, if you're like a, you know, renowned person in your bar and mm. then you make a promise and you don't, you know, protect that or right. like, you know, make that come true. Mm. Other people are gonna see you as some lying bastard. Right. You know? mm. So you just get outed from the industry then, I guess. Well, not outed, but you know, like- I guess bad rumors will spread Yeah, me. Yeah, you know, like, who is she to make promises? You know? right, 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 right. I guess, well, yeah. I mean, because it's such a small industry, yeah. right? Like, everybody sure. knows each other. It's, yeah, word it gets around. Like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, I, I was sucking Roland's dick the entire time, <laughs> but- Liter you know, Literally or figuratively. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Doesn't, doesn't matter, bro. <laughs> it's that good of a Maybe it's a JoJo yeah. fan. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, um, you know, I know a few people who have, you know, fucking had fun with him, drank with him in the past. Mm -hmm. So if I really, really, really wanted to, I could still get a message across to him. You know, mm -hmm. Right. Like I could reach out to his fucking SNS message saying some dude called John saying this to him. I would make right, it happen. Right, right, right. That's how close contact this entire industry is. Doesn't matter yeah. if you're like, you know, most renowned hostel or huh. sounds know, like nobody. Turkish taxi drivers to me. <laughs> now that you mention it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. You want should I to fly out my homies to like, establish my own network? <laughs> bro. All the hosts are Turkish taxi drivers. <laughs> Dude, oh, well, honestly, like where do people talk? You know, yeah, yeah. host club. Like, yeah. Hey, how much shit does Jan know yeah. after all, the, all of his clients, you know? <laughs> Fucking like <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm uh, I'm curious about uh, how you know you mentioned your club and that you mentioned there's other famous ones. Yes, sir. Is it so? First of all, how long have clubs been around? Two, I uh, host club, sorry, uh, in Japan. And two, what's the difference between like the older ones and the new ones? How long have they been around? That's your first question, right? Yeah, yeah. like as a subculture. Yeah, dozens of years, bro. Th thousands of years? No, dozens. Do dozens of years. Dozens. I was, years. Like, yeah. I was yeah. like, bro, a dude. while. <laughs> no, like shit. A while, man, a while. Host club culture has been around for a while, but right. when it started popping off, I would say in like the last 15 years. Mm. Right, so right. That's when okay. it started. It seems like a off. really new thing. Yeah, so I mean, looking at it from the surface. To a certain degree. Well, I, th yeah. I think Japan has become more lonely over mm. technology well, and- Well, uh, when is their like birth rate? When did their birth rate start declining, right? About 10, 15 years ago. That didn't yeah. make yeah, sense. That makes sense. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. That so, makes sense. So, so what's the difference then between like a club that's been around 50 years? You know, how, how do they do business? What's the difference between that and like how, you know, say a club that popped up like two weeks ago was? Uh -huh. Well, I was saying, for example, a club like Prachino yeah. that hosted you know, one of the most legendary hosts of all time, mm. like Rorando. Just by hosting them there, they can up their name value. Meaning people who don't know anything about host clubs, yeah. mm -hmm. they get the club's name into their ear through social, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Anything goes on like Twitter news, fucking Ryan news, anything. They kind of see that exposure. Club yeah. right. I mean, it says a lot that I and know you, Pudachino, you know, even though I've never- Yeah, exactly. I don't even know where it I is. Know? Yeah. These fucking vans that drive around Shinjuku. Oh yeah, just fucking massive screech vans. Yeah. this horrible music out with like these- balls. Oh, that's what they some are. Of them, yeah. Some, of them, some, some oh. of them are host clubs, yeah. I it's, didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. It's yeah. the most it's, it's horrible It's a fortune stuff. to get those too, you know? Yeah, I can you imagine. Know, the car with your face on it, just yeah. waving yeah. by, yeah. No, all, all I hear sometimes are just like the fucking who are, like the political just, people were just shouting. Bass boosted yeah. speakers. You can't even hear what they're saying. They're yeah. just being loud. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. so annoying. <laughs> 
There's also the one that goes around in like Shinjuku and Shubi all the time. That's like, Vanita, 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 Vanita. I can't imagine being the truck driver, man. It, like, how, how long is this shit? I, I, have, I have actually seen like when one of the vanilla truck drive, uh, trucks went past, I was like, yeah. I want to get a look of this, like the actual driver's face. Yeah. Yo, he looked brain dead as fuck. Like he was literally it's like- It's gotta be that meme from uh, Caroline, the guy on the PC, like-, like <laughs> That's what he looked like. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, go ahead about the differences between the clubs. Yeah, yeah. So, so what what would you say? Like, is it like a difference in service or like the the way that they do it or the like rules, the yeah. rules? Everything. I'll say the ma main difference is cut. What? Oh. <laughs> So dramatic, so dramatic. I need a PS4. This episode is sponsored by Boxu. Connor, what is that special wooden box you've got there? I thought you'd never ask Joey because this is a special gift just for you. Is that a wooden Boxu? It sure is. Hold your horses, gentlemen. What is this? Boxu thing you talk about? I'm glad you asked, Gant. Let me tell you. Boxu is a monthly snack box subscription service that delivers original assortments of premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings. Boxu makes such a perfect and memorable gift for anyone in your life who appreciates Japanese snacks and culture, especially during a time where people aren't able to travel as easily as they would like to. Gentlemen, you know what's special about Boxu this month? What is it, Joey? Free tickets to Japan. Yeah. Boxu is having a giveaway where one lucky winner will win a free ticket to Japan. That's right, and anyone who has subscribed before December 31st is automatically entered Link is in the description below so you can check out the terms and conditions and other methods of entry. And another thing that is super special this month is the wooden box, which is also known as a kiribako box, which I didn't know about that. I knew that. What's kiribako? Wooden box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> From now until December 30th, you can receive your next box in a special Kitabako wooden box for an additional $50. Damn. Lovingly crafted in the Koga City, Japan by Masuda Kitabako. So what are you waiting for? You can use Trash Taste 10 and the link in the description below to become eligible to win the giveaway by just subscribing to Boxu. The code will get you 10% off your subscription. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity for anyone who subscribes until December 31st. So like I said, get yourself or a special loved one a Kitabako box and check out the link for a chance to win a free trip to Trash Taste Land. <laughs> Back to the show. So the main difference between like a new club that just popped out versus mm -hmm. a club with a long, long history is mm. how much respect it has from other clubs surrounding it. Right. So as I mentioned, if you're like a long time club, that means you have at least a few people who either like came out of your club or went to your club. Mm and became really popping up, you know, went on like news medias or just carried your club to the surface. Right. right. And that carries a lot of value in the host industry. It It's weird to me that Japan puts hosts on this like pedestal, but then you know how it is. If you're if you're a woman doing the exact same job reversed, it's like, yeah, it's, oh, oh she's a, a hoe. Oh yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, you're like the, the scum of society. Yeah, it's, yeah. Kind of, it's bizarre really, because- It even, is very double standards even if, for sure. Even if we had that in the West, we I don't think we'd be putting the hosts on TV and stuff like that. Uh, but no, in Japan, no. it's just like, dude, this guy's sick, bro. He like talks to girls all day. Oh, you're a woman to a guy, bro. <laughs> paid for the it, fuck, bro. <laughs> the fuck, you're disgusting. It's yeah, like, yeah. the fuck? Uh, yeah, sorry, I should have mentioned but that. I, but I think as well, like that's, that's really like going back to like Roland, right? Like I think the reason why it became like that is because yeah. in a lot of ways, it's because yeah, Roland. You know, it, I think it's accepted that a guy can be like that, right? In, yeah. At least in Japanese society, uh -huh. it's that, that's a character. They're like, yeah, that's good. Yeah. But if, if a woman True. acted the same way. I think I think if there was like a female equivalent of and it wouldn't happen the no, same way, no. unfortunately. I mean, you, you do have good examples of that though. Yeah. You know, a lot of huge um, cosmetic shachos right now come yeah. from Quebecura background right, and stuff right. like that. But like you mentioned, Roland's, Roland's impact on this industry is impeccable. Yeah. Something yeah. you cannot measure with just numbers. Yeah. Also, he sold himself as a personality. Exactly. Well, right? like, on exactly. TV. Whereas like, we anything. haven't really had that for the female like Quebecura side. No, right? yeah. not at all. So you join a new club, right? Let's uh, say, uh, you're a, you're a rookie, you're shit at your job, but you're yeah. just terrible. What's the experience I would have being terrible in like one of the old, amazing, uh, perfect, respected clubs versus being in a club that's kind of shit and like small and like just kind of like- uh, Would like, you even get a job in that, in that sense? Well, let's say you got <laughs> yeah. it, right? Let's say you yeah. got it and yeah. then you started fucking up. Like, right. you know, you couldn't get any clients. Like how yeah. would they, because I can imagine that they don't treat you the, I, I, they're not like, oh, oh, it's okay, it's okay. I imagine they, like, these are the traditional oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But I imagine the one that's like kind of worse off is like, oh, dude, it's all right. I mean, you look, the best example I can give is be, imagine being in like unknown ass fucking, you know, consulting company versus being in fucking Boston Consulting. Right, right, right. You know, the pressure. That's a very specific example. Yeah. Look, the pressure you have at Boston Consulting doesn't derive from the fact that, you know, <laughs> 
you suck but it's because this is the company you know values we uphold mm. are you mm. reaching that standard right no. you know if you're not we have a thousand other recruits outside lining up to take your placement mm. versus an unknown as club it's like mm. we could fire you but we'll have nobody else right. we're really yeah. just paying people to yeah, come exactly. to yeah, 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 yeah. that's the difference right yeah. right so like is it how dangerous is the industry in, in oh, that's a good question yeah. Yeah, uh, how dangerous know. well actually that's a really great um question because you know from the old times a lot of host clubs are known to have a lot of violence involved in them yeah meaning mm -hmm. if you're not performing well if you're you know slacking you know, your boss might kind of like slap you around <laughs> and <laughs> wait, 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 what, what do you mean slap around like 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 like, like, like a little oh, like like, like, oh, like, like, oh, like that or like oh, a you no, nah, bro. Like I'm talking about that you're sleeping and they'll fucking bash your head and shit. You know, wait, where, like, it's like, it's like fucking this? Goodfellas. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like even in my host club, not not within there, but uh. previous to joining there, I've yeah. had stories told to me from those people there that you know they were kind of falling asleep and then they got smacked in the head so hard that their fucking tooth chipped and shit. <sighs> <laughs> bro what? like just because i was sleeping yeah exactly just because they were like not so you know responsive and whatnot right. and even within my host club we would have like meetings uh, to mm -hmm. go over like statistics who's billing well yeah. who's a good head up you know because even if you're not billing if you're contributing so that the girls are drinking yeah. yeah they will respect you right because yeah, yeah. that means you're doing you know, your job yeah exactly yeah. that yeah. means you contribute to the actual revenue right, right, right. but if you're just like you're not even catching girls outside and when the girls sit with you you're some boring ass motherfucker, they're gonna fucking bitch about it mm. and that's the right. main way to make you quit right by keep putting you on the spotlight and be like you fucking suck they can't not, just tell you to like fuck off no because yeah, i mean you know that's not the way that's not the way Japanese people do it. You know <laughs> they what they like shame you publicly until you quit, bro. Yeah, honestly, yeah, that's fucked up. Truthfully, man. that's so fucked. I yeah. mean, I mean, regular companies do that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but that's because they I have mean, lifetime contracts. Yeah, though. yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's the school, same, right? bro. Because because like, if they if they're willing to like slap you in the head, why aren't they willing to tell you to not turn up to work tomorrow? I don't understand. I, I love yeah, I love like, that. How it's like yeah. I have no like I have no like resistance to like actually smacking you in the back of the head, but I don't have the heart to tell you to quit. Do everything. The thing, is, the thing is, <laughs> if you prevail from this, you know, agonizing pain. That's such <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> oh, no, fuck. Cool, bro, come on. It, it is a real true phenomenon where if you're strong enough to prevail this challenge that's giving to you, yeah. that means you could become a man. I, I agree uh, in some senses. I, I don't know about that. I think that, that only works yeah. in shonen anime. <laughs> <laughs> but, tell but, tell but. me your pussy ass excuse. Come on, tell me. <laughs> Listen, there is a challenge. <laughs> And there is being beaten up in your work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, well, you're not yeah. Mike Tyson, bro. You're not going like you're not throwing hands man, in the club, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> host industry is not some like you know fucking sugar coated powder. I'm not oh, saying no, 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 I'm not saying, saying, I'm not saying it is. We, we've established that it's dodgy as fuck, and there it is a dodgy lot as of, like, fuck. And you yeah. you have to know your you know street knowledge. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have any street abilities, you're gonna get fucking you know bulldozed over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I understand. Of course. That. Yeah, that's a fact. But framing it as some form of it's a noble challenge that one must undertake to become. <laughs> oh, it's like, no, this guy wants. Is to that the way I'm putting it, or it is? I'm yeah. putting it in a way that it's like rolling in the mud and wrestling until one of them chokes to death. <laughs> that, 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 like you know, the, that's the kind of that's the kind of challenge that you have to undertake. Wait, wait, wait. did you did you think that analogy was better? <laughs> I, think it, I think it reflects the situation, or at least reflects the reality of the situation. In the so, 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 do you, you think it's fucked up? It's fu <laughs> it's fucked up, but but you also think there's a point to it. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's not fucked up, bro. No, it, no, it's fucked up. Look, 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 who am I to judge? You literally just said you're rolling around in the mud until one of them, like, I'm pretty sure, like, like gladiators did that back like the Roman Empire. But, but look, in, 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 in any business, right? There is a reason as to why the whole thing transpired to become what it is. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. You, yeah, you have to respect what came before you. And, of course, you know, yeah. understand yeah, yeah. why it's the way it is. That's the whole, you know, core of understanding what a culture is. Mm. If I, I get that, that, but then there are, you know, sometimes there are cultures that should maybe be changed. Just, just because, you know? just because something's been established doesn't mean you can't whoa, change whoa, whoa, the whoa, whoa, rules. I feel Japan though. I'm sensing some woke bullshit. No, no, in no, here. no, no, no. Do you do you put <laughs> him, <laughs> she, it, whatever in okay, your no, fucking no. Twitter profile? <laughs> no, bitch? no, I just, I just, I just think generally <laughs> that, uh, you know. 
I understand why this these kind of stories can happen in the industry. I'm uh-huh. not gonna say it, that it's fun. It, that is not fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in John, John, John. Let's just let's just let's just break this down. You're literally trying to say <laughs> that getting your teeth kicked in is not fucked up. No, obviously, like it, no, 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 no. Obviously, 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 obviously. <laughs> See, okay, okay. You're saying it's not fucked up because it happened to my senpai. Okay. Like, <laughs> my, my, my sincere apologies for not making this clear. Yeah. There is a huge difference between having a disciplined way of conducting your business yeah. versus mm-hmm. violence because violence is really frowned upon y- yeah no matter what there's like, <laughs> oh my, oh my no shit right <laughs> finally a take yeah. i can agree with <laughs> you're right jan water is wet <laughs> How is like xenophobia and racism within the host? Uh, yeah, because I, I've heard- there's, there's plenty of that shit, man. Yeah, because like I've heard that some, a, a lot of host clubs actually don't let foreign- No, in, no, right? they don't because yeah. like, what are they gonna do? Well, what I mean, what mean? if they wanna have like a good time trying to like How? interact if with the locals? You can't communicate. If oh. you can speak Japanese and you're a foreigner, would they let you in? If you can't speak Japanese and you're a foreigner, you have a chance. A chance. You have, you a, have chance. a chance. Yeah. See, that's interesting. Wow. I mean, Survive the beating and we'll give you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, 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 this is the same with almost all other Japanese businesses that are nightlife related. If you're, mm, that is true. If you're yeah. a foreigner, most likely they'll be like, and then not accept you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, some restaurants fucking do yeah, this, right? Yeah, like, exactly. Let alone, yeah, you know, nightlife stuff. It's just like going back to the whole discrimination thing that I just mentioned, like, is, mm-hmm. you know, because you're, you know, you're a hafu. Um, Am I now? Yeah. Oh yes, you are. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I don't know, bro. <laughs> you like to know where I thought we were all being Mary Sue's here, you know? Fuck. So, you know. Yeah. Cut jo- back jo- to an hour I, ago, I've yes. Seen, I've seen Joey being a Hongo Joe's who's like five billion times, <laughs> you know, and uh, I, from from what I've, I've seen, yeah, Joey, you can, I'm sure you can uh, say if I'm right or wrong. If yeah. you don't look 100% Japanese, they just assume you're like foreign, just fully foreign. 100%. Yeah. So how does that, you know, cause that comes into, a play, that comes into play a lot in Japan. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how does it come into play in a host club? That yeah, how many be, how many times yeah. were you Nihongo Jose at a host club? Every single time. But yeah, like, right. So how surely they must in some senses they're like, Oh, you're you're not you're not Japanese, bro. You're like you're like the gimmick, bro. You're a Yeah, 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 yeah. That. Each time. Each yeah. time. So did you it's use that to your advantage or did you like try and fight against it? Um, like- no. As I mentioned to you guys before, I had no interest in talking to girls who had no life experience or who had no oh. interest in life experience. So mm. I would come across some people that say like you know, I asked them, you know, do you want to go abroad? I've been to this country, want to know more about it. And they're like, no, I'm okay with just staying in Japan. I'll be like, okay, it's next guy. Weirdly, weirdly common. Yeah. It happens a lot, bro, it happens yeah. a lot. But you know, I skipped those girls because I have nothing that want to talk to them about. Yeah. But right. until I found find the people that want to know more about, you know, living abroad. The worldly things. Yeah. yeah. That's when I shine. So these, these girls, we've established like just how much money is spent in these host clubs. Like, how do, how do these clients have these this much money? Because you're like as we as we've established, not everyone is like old, you know, mature, yeah, for successful sure, businesses. Sure. Yeah, how do, how do these like how do these like women in their early twenties come yeah. and like spend like stupid amounts of money? On so you? this comes back to the discussion about the demographic of the host club. So most right. of them are in the nightlife, and right. nightlife in Japan pays a lot, yeah, right. yeah. like substantial amounts. Mm-hmm. So they have a huge amount of disposable income yeah. right. for such expenditures. And that's what they decide to spend it on. Yeah, I mean, like every week, it seems like ex celebrity is caught in uh, <coughs> a, a yeah, soap yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah, yeah. a right, girls' right. bar. So, I mean, clearly, uh, no shortage of clientele. Uh, yeah. And given the frequency of these girls' bars, I mean, they're everywhere in Tokyo. Yeah, and no are. doubt that uh, they yeah, are. bro, they're not struggling. No, well, it, it seems like you know everyone pays each other like back, right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's the it's same like, artist like <laughs> who's spinning the fifty dollars around, yeah, right? No, right? It's just like yeah, there's a lot of money, but I'm gonna be paying that money back to yeah. you. Oh, it's 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 you. Okay, now now it's your turn to pay me. That, you know? I, I think like a cool like experiment would be like if you leave like a little mark on like yeah. a thousand oh, yen note okay. and yeah, see yeah. if it eventually comes back yeah, into yeah, your yeah, hand, yeah, right? Like that that could be kind of cool. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. I'm yeah. sure it happens. We're all just rolling but some we, bank. Yeah. Shit, but the core of the business does lie in that though. You know, right. It's that the knife life people support each other. Right, right. So do you have time to spend the money that you earn or does it just go back into the industry? No, for sure, bro. Cause and as I was mentioning, I don't do this full time. Like I never did it full time. No, I mean, anyway. talking about like hosts in general. Like, yeah, like, like full time hosts. Like yeah, do like they have host. enough time oh. to like spend it on themselves or? Look, like just for if, if, if you're at like the, you know, top 1% percentile kind of thing. Yeah. You barely have time to sleep, honestly. Yeah, right. Yeah. So they, they just get like no days off right? I mean, to like spend it on themselves. Or I had a few benders with the number one guy back yeah. in the day. And like his day would go like this. 
you know i would see him at the host club after his like hair makeup and you know he would do his own makeup in the bathroom i'll would, would call him like all the names i can while he's doing his makeup uh. <laughs> and then you know once the night starts i see him bring out all all his girls until like midnight and then from there he would take me to the subsidiary bar where we would drink for like three four hours mm -hmm. and then we would meet up with another separate group of girls that are just like the late night crew, you know, after mm. like three, yeah. 4 a.m. that just want to hang out until like 10 a.m., you know? All right. And then we just go hard until that. And then this guy would not sleep and go for a lunch. Okay. With okay. another, you know, girl he's already like seeing. Oh my yeah, God. yeah. And he would have a lunch with her and sometimes go to Disneyland and shit without sleeping, bro. How so, did this man not, not, not look like a human rat? Bro, like, bro, I, that's I do what that. they're I do, all skinny as shit, dude. I do yeah. that for one night, bro, and I look like I've been hit by a car. Yeah, I, so, I look dreadful. Yeah, it's difficult stuff, man. So he goes to sleep at like three, four p.m. Wakes fuck? up in two, three hours. You know, same thing again. <laughs> gets your hair done, get your makeup while I'm laughing at him. You know, same thing over and over. Jesus. So, like, I guess from what it sounds like, the lifespan of a host can't be that long normally. Surely, Dep depends on how you conduct yourself. Yeah, well, so well, if you're in that cycle, if you're in that cycle, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. not at all. <laughs> but this is where um, you know Rolando really comes in strong because this he is known to never drink. Right. Oh, he has the helpers with him all the time. Yeah, and right. like he's the fucking definition of you know to become a host, you don't have to drink. Yeah. All you have to have is good conversational skills, and the people who come to the club only have to come just because they want to chat with you. Right. And they want to gain something out of it. Right, right, right. So become like a life coach almost. Uh. Why is it that they have to buy drinks to like pay the host? Can can you not just like fucking just give them money? <laughs> oh. if you, if you, I think it's because if you give someone money, you're way less likely to like give someone money. If you're buying right. drinks, it's like feeding it's the a atmosphere. Gift. Well, no, and, no. And, and, and you know, you both win. You're getting the drink you want. It's like buying rounds at a pub. Yeah. Right. If I give you a ten, I'm like, talk to me for an hour gone. I'm gonna be like, fuck, I'm looking at the clock every 10 minutes. But yeah. if you finish your drink, I'm like, you want another drink gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, I think it's because that atmosphere. you just wouldn't get as much money. That oh, is, is, is that the it's reason? Spot on analysis, my friend. Oh, yeah, okay. There you go. Okay. No, because like I, I maybe compare this to, you know, like, going to a strip club or something and buying a dance, that is like money being exchanged, yeah, I guess right? right. And that, that's- I mean, I'm sure because like, I think it's the same thing, right? Like, I guess for a lot of girls, like getting to talk to a person is like mm. paying for a service, right? Yeah. yeah. Kind of similar to like at a strip club, for example. When yeah. you're hanging out with your friends, right? Yeah. If you want to keep hanging out, what do you do? Buy another drink. Right. Yeah. yeah. Buy a round. Yeah. You buy another drink. Exactly. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so how, much, how much are these drinks marked up? Oh, bro, bro. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> or you're going into some like yikes territory. How, how much yeah. are these drinks marked up? So bro? everything is about like times ten. The price. Right. I saw strong zero. Like the dead yeah. ass bring out the can yeah. and yeah. charge you thirty bucks for it. Yeah, that one dude, as I said, times ten of the original price. That's not times ten. That's like times thirty. And that yeah. was that was chaser. That was like their water. <laughs> the strong zero, which is like a nine percent drink, they drank as like a chaser. Oh my god! It was like oh oh that drink was so strong. I'm gonna drink some water. Oh, it's strong zero. Yeah, because the one thing I always like know about like the host thing is like the the Don Tower. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The champagne yeah. towers. Yeah, oh, right? yeah, yeah. Like how many of those did you have to do? Or was that Every just like? Okay, because I, I always thought like <laughs> how, 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 how many how birthdays much? you go how through? Much, how much? How much is for one? Because is it like one? Is it just one bottle of Dom Perignon that you just Depends. pour, or is it like multiple bottles? Multiple bottles, depending on the tower that you. So bring. multiple bottles of Dom Perignon, which are marked up ten times the price. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like ten thousand? Yeah, I mean, like how much for one? For at your at the club you worked at, uh -huh. when you got a, a, a champagne tower, how yeah. much would a girl have to spend? If I was a girl and I wanted to buy you a Dom Perignon. Champagne tower, how much would I have to spend? So again, this kind of requires some explaining because if you're stingy as fuck and mm. you don't, you want to build like the, you know, smallest tower, you can. Yeah. But again, it's oh, there's all, different levels like, of the pyramid yeah. scheme. <laughs> how many glasses there like, are. Exactly, it's all about, you know, like showcasing. Yeah, all right. The more glasses of tower you have, the more glamorous it looks. Yeah. Right. So right. even if you're building half of it with cheap alcohol and the other half with actual premium alcohol, yeah. Yeah. as soon as it looks big enough, yeah, it does the job, huh. right? So even if it's someone who has like a you know, like only like two three patrons who's only willing to shell out total maximum maybe like ten k US for your birthday, only. Oh, so only. cheap, oh, so only ten k. Oh, oh, only get 10K. the fuck out of the club, you cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> your money isn't wanted here, guys. We're, 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 we're just talking about like forty percent commission of people earning like 
over 50k so that, per so, birthday yeah, so yeah, come on okay, imagine okay, the okay. glamorous fucking so what's, towers that day what's, what's, what's the, what's most, the most expensive most, one yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah what's the most expensive one you've ever received or seen or seen or seen, or seen. Or seen. Well, what's the most you've seen someone spend on one night bro like this is i will be proud to tell this story to the day i die but my number one homie yeah, yeah. he on this one day his 30th birthday yeah he racked over 200k us in fucking <laughs> In and that's what did you do on your 30th? <laughs> 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 oh, where's my 200k? Bro, boys? I, I don't know what I'm doing in five years. <laughs> I just I just hung out with the boys. They bought me a fucking drink. It cost like a fucking tenner. Could have got 200 fucking oh, k. Right, What's going yeah. on? Bro, Joey's expectations going to be through the <laughs> yeah, room. Yeah, right. <laughs> Finally, an upside to turning 30. What the fuck? I'm like 200k. So that's 200k is 40 percent, right? You got so you get to get like not 0. me, 1% but of my LA house. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know, Christ. like when, when you're reaching that level, um, of course you can still have champagne towers that like surround itself. Mm. Yeah, because the, the trick is to just make it three dimensional so you feel more space. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but you want to be more glamorous when you're hostel. So we hired like a you know Rolls Royce. At the entrance of the club, we have like fucking firework kind of stands at the entrance, saying <laughs> shit like, make it look like a wedding ceremony. You literally got pyrotechnics thing. when yeah. going into the club. Bro, like, it was so much fun though, you know. Yeah, I bet. So that it sounds like the beginning of like a WWE match or something, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fucking Stone Cold. <laughs> 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 From the Rolls Royce. <laughs> but but the saddest saddest thing is, well, um, the, the hostel can only go on a date and come to the venue in a Rolls Royce with only one girl, right? Oh, oh no. no. So, no. So oh my God. Oh, fuck. So, so you better pick well. So, oh. so the thing is, the thing is, when you're the number one, that means you have host buddies, or I mean, sorry, the ladies that are saving up for your occasion for like months. All right. <laughs> You know, like so sad dude, hearing that. Dude, like after this day, you know, for like the next two, three weeks, it's all about the conversations. Like, oh, I saved up for like eight months, and oh I still god. couldn't get the position. You know, like, it's, the, it's like, oh my god. <gasps> I, well, I, I, guess, I guess that I guess that makes this sense why good, the host the club you went to was just like everyone was depressed. Maybe it was right before, right after a book. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everyone's that chasing the happiness and nobody's yeah. getting it. All the girls yeah. are like, oh, I was I was eighth in line. Finally, an enemy that can rival VTuber sense. Two words more. <laughs> Yo, you think these rainbow super chats are like impressive? Like, flat. It's one thousand dollar Dom Perry on towers. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Yo, yo. Yeah, maybe, that, maybe that's the next thing. Right. <laughs> no. Maybe that's the thing. VTuber hostel? VTuber Kabakura? I mean, it is. It, I mean, I guess it's just, it is the same thing. It's just digitally. Yeah, that's right. True. That's what you think. I guess that's what super chats are. <laughs> Just get attention from people. No, no, no. there's, there's probably, uh, there's definitely some of them that are like, you know, organizing one-on-ones where you can buy time. Oh yeah, yeah of course, yeah. of course. That's the only difference, right? Rarely though. Yeah, rarely right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon it'll become a more of a thing. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Why are you asking me this, Jen? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I see you, you know, playing some games. Do you, uh, like, do you like VTubers, Jen? I do, yeah? I do, I do. Oh, Who's yeah? your favorite? So you, are you, are you a VTuber so you, so you simp? Get back if you're the, gonna ask. You get back, okay, wait, you get back from the host club, right? You're like, all right, just fucking, uh, I got like 500 women. Yeah. Send the super chat off. <laughs> it's, like, Lord, it's, no. like, it's like 10 ladies yeah. come home with you. It's like, ladies, not tonight. Yeah. It's like, it's I have a super chat to throw. It's that fucking meme with the guy on the bed with like four women around him. He's like, they're sending a super chat away. Oh my God. Bro, there's Not like tonight, six women on me right now. I just wanted to tell you that you're yeah. my favorite VTuber. Here's five bucks. Is that, is it? Is that how it is? Sense, makes sense. Who's your uh, favorite then? Uh, um, Ahoy. Sinchal. <laughs> yes. Horsha Money. Horsha Money. She was my favorite for a while. Daisy Dane. Wow. Yeah. Sinchal. Who's your favorite? Why are you asking me? Don't ask me these questions. Don't ask me. I feel like I know, but no, no, you don't know. <laughs> you, I know you're just sensing about it, you know? No, don't bring this up. Don't fucking bring me <laughs> up. You know? I, if you're listening, <laughs> tame, oh. tame your friend. <laughs> Come get your man's. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Fuck you, Jack. Clip Clippers are just like watching this. Like <laughs> yeah. Oh. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Oh. enhance. <laughs> Fuck the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. But uh, I guess like, so you don't do hosting anymore, right? Are you- yeah, I don't belong to a club anymore. You don't yeah. belong, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> this, this is like a deposition. It's like, you're not answering the question, but answering the question. You can take, 
You can take the man no, out of the host, but never the host out of the man. <laughs> so I beat you, but not part of an agency. You know? It's like the same thing. Kind of like that. So basically, yeah. you know, I, I, well, you're a freelance host. You're kind of like that. Wait, you've yeah. graduated. Holy how the fuck? Shit. Wait, how the fuck are you freelance host? So you know, previous clients. Since right? I've been doing this for almost ten oh, years right. now. Yeah. Like the people have, you know, met along the way. Uh -huh. At this point, they're just there to, you know, drink with me to get life updates. Because right. I've known these- Like an old friend. Yeah. Like you just I've have. known them for like almost 10 years, some of them, you know? Right, right. That's like, great. That means you get I've to been like- I've invited to weddings and shit, you know, of the girls that are getting married, you know? I, like, and I went to some. I what? shit you not. What? Dude. How did, how did, how, you know, when you, when you spoke to people at the wedding, how did that go? Were they like, oh, this is Jen, this is the guy. Yeah. Yeah. How did the wife explain to the husband? That's what I was gonna ask. Bro, so for example, like th there was a lady who was back in the day, she was in her late university time. Yeah. And I was telling her, you know, like you should do exchange, go to other countries, mm -hmm. live life. Giving life advice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then a few years later, you know, I find out that she's marrying somebody she met overseas. Oh, thanks nice. to her experience abroad. Mm. And then she says she got to do this just because I fucking gave her the encouragement to go abroad. Right. I'm skipping like the whole arc here, yeah, but I, I can't imagine. That, yeah, that's yeah, the end yeah. result here, bro. I, I imagine the husband was like, you, you're inviting what? A host? <laughs> Dude, is, like, this, is this why NTR is like The moment the husband Japan? meets me and then I <laughs> talk about, you know, the way we met and then the, hustling, the, what kind hustling. of like yeah. quality, quality conversations we had. Right. Nobody's like, you know, like suspecting anything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I'm honest. But so, so did you tell them that you were, tell him that you were a host? Dude, that's how the wife introduced. Like, <laughs> that's you know, insane. That's insane. Now the wife's got some balls. Christ. That's like, I've never seen someone with such like big dick energy. Like, yeah. Hi honey. He's, <laughs> hi honey. He's, <laughs> hi honey. He's another man that I spent a lot of money on uh, before I met you. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we met because of this man. Yeah. Dude, I've had like, like, interestingly, I have a lot of that, you know? Even with my ex-girlfriends, I still see some of them. Oh, Japan is whack. With man. their Japan current boyfriends, and we still hang out and shit. Yeah, and that's still the case with hostel stuff. Like some people that don't even see me anymore just want to hang out with their <laughs> new boyfriends. Yeah, what? Well, I see what you're writing. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 we can't say that out loud, but uh, ask that? yeah, we let ask that or. Can you just say yes or no to me? I mean, you can hint at it. Wait, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is. That's how it is. Uh, the is <laughs> for, for you viewers, the wedding isn't as innocent as it seems. Listen, Let's just say that. I mean, you know, everyone, you know, the hosts are not just for talking, right? But you can't say that. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not saying Elaborate your sentence. <laughs> What you what know. are what are what are part of the host's responsibility? It's, it's not all Disneyland. No. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not all Disneyland. It isn't all so candies and rainbows. Yeah, 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 we know yeah. that. You know, come on. There's uh, does you know. does does there are there more perks to the job <laughs> uh, that uh, other than just. That's a, that's a, that's a great the hardest key I've ever heard. Perks. <laughs> so we both get perks. Yeah. To answer your question, kind of directly but indirectly. It involves a lot of mental, psychological, you know, like f fuckery. Meaning, if you know what somebody wants and you give it to them straight away, mm. you might get them to be bored of you and then they might not come back for more. Okay. So the strategy <laughs> for some cases is to tease and edge. But in okay. what are you laughing at, <laughs> man? What are you laughing at? It's like fucking Barney Stinson from How I Met Your Mother. It's like <laughs> it's insane. I understand that it's the job, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but it's but, just like but, psychotic. But, yeah. it, it, it's <laughs> one side of it, though. One side of it. And right, right. On the other side, there are some people that don't want you for what you're. You know. No, like, I, un I understand yeah. that. Like they just they just, just conversation. Yeah, exactly. I, I they're that, yeah. there for yeah. just for your company, and so if you push for it on a drunken evening. You might just fucking ruin your relationship, and right, then they right. might not come back for right, you again. Of course. Right, right, right. So there's a lot that you have to think about, and yeah. this is with any other social encounter. You know, if you think somebody is beautiful and they're wonderful, and you feel like you mm. want to spend a night with them, and they're down for it as well, and it's yeah, I was gonna say because yeah. you know obviously you know, obviously it's the only thing that. <laughs> They they pay for is the drinks. Right? Not the one I don't know. Uh, yeah, I feel no, like I'm no, sitting no. with a bunch of virgin motherfuckers. No, 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 no. Come, come I'm on, just, guys. I'm, I'm just really. No, no, no. Okay, okay, I'm just okay. really <laughs> enjoying. <laughs> no, no, I'm just really enjoying <laughs> you <laughs> trying to explain yourself. Listen, here. listen, listen. I okay. I understand, right? You're, you're all they pay for is the drinks, but what you're trying to do is secure that they keep coming for those drinks. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. 
you know, you, you do what you got to do. I, I understand that business is business and Look, it's ruthless, you know, and it's yeah. it's childish or, or naive as to think that 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 it's not how the business works, right? Right, right. Yeah, I understand yep. that. And Doesn't mean I can't be like that's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what hey, I mean? Yeah. Just just to make myself clear, the way I conduct myself mm -hmm. is with my wits and intelligence and yeah. my unique ability of talking about shit that they have no idea about, which is right. You are you are a worldly host. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Exactly. Mr. Worldwide, fucking pitbull, right? Yeah. Here. Yeah. That's how I, you know, do my thing. Mm. But there are some people that, of course, push their, you know, physical attributes. Right, that's like right, their main right. that's selling, selling point. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? mm. And they fall into a dilemma where, you know, if I don't give it to her now, she might not come back next time. But if I give it to her now... She definitely won't come back next time. You know, time. exactly. Yeah. Right, right. You know, if you're like this and you suck at it, gonna happen no i i totally get it you know that's that's just the environment and the industry of the host club yeah you know? but you know i'm sure to a lot of people watching and you know some people who are not versed in this yeah. world it, it seems otherworldly it, it, it is it's, almost I mean, like for them it's like what's sex what's to be fair i think i think one, <laughs> of, the, like, one of the most underrated like uh, different aspects of japanese culture is the nightlife and the the whole the, the you know the host industry and all that like yeah. i think it's People are like, oh, it's so wacky. They have KFC on Christmas. It's like, no, bro. Like <laughs> the real weird differences between the West. It's the shit yeah, that don't get, doesn't get talked yeah, about. Yeah, it's the stuff that's <laughs> happening at night, man. Yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. It's yeah. completely different. And, you know, in some ways, I, you know, I, as a, you come into this with a foreign perspective and you judge it as such, but it, I feel like in some ways it's unfair of, of us to judge and be like, that's that's fucking weird what they do. It's like, well, I mean, that's what they do. That's that's what they've chosen to do and that's how they do the business. Yeah. Is it, it, does it sound predatory at times? A little bit, but I mean, you know, it's, yeah. it's my perspective, you know? Yeah, I mean, and you know, again, like as you were saying, like it is a thing that I, I think, again, Japan is so good at maintaining a culture. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and yeah. like maintaining ways to do a culture the where sometimes. Is, is ancient artifact yeah. Yeah. Where, keep around. Yeah. Where sometimes, you know, <laughs> they, it, it, they get so, they get so encapsulated in holding onto this specific cultural thing yeah. that they almost fail to realize that, you know what? Maybe it doesn't really fit into society today's standards, right? Yeah, like, no. you know, it's the whole reason why the fucking fax machine still exists, yeah, it's right? Like, like, it's, like they, they, it's like, you know, maybe- Great point right Maybe there. it's like, you know, like they don't realize that, you know, they just think to themselves, yeah, it's fucked up, but this is how it came to be. This, this is what yeah. makes Japanese nightlife, Japanese nightlife. They never stop to think to themselves, hey, maybe this is fucked up. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just, just a bit. Although, you know, hosts are promoted on TV, you know, I'm, I'm under the impression that almost on a, like a national level, it's something that they try and keep kind of hidden and that they're, they're like they they're not too proud of. Mm. It, would you would you say? As I a guess host, that's the whole reason why we got Jan. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 exactly. Right. Yeah. You Open your eyes. Yeah. So yeah. like over the past ten years, would you say that hosts and host clubs become less popular or more popular? More popular, bro. really, massively. Okay. Why would you say that? Again, thanks to Roland kind of people who yeah. go yeah. mainstream and showcase that becoming a host. Is it so just Roland though? Or is it maybe because the whole subculture of host clubs have just become a little bit more open to like a general public, maybe? Yeah, it's becoming that, like- But that what helped to achieve what you just talked about mm. is through manga anime. Right. A lot of these oh. medias picked up on that and yeah. then glorified. Right. Yeah, they make it look yeah, like yeah. it's actually fun. Or on yeah, high school yeah, host yeah, club. Exactly. Like, exactly. or on high school host club. Yeah, can, it know? can be further from that. Yeah. You know, from what Shit, you, you guys know this anime where like this guy who does whatever the fuck he wants in school and everybody's like mesmerized by him? Or on high school host club. Sakamoto Disco. I love Sakamoto. I love Sakamoto. Uh, crazy, I love, bro. I, love I didn't tell you anything, you know? Yeah, Sakamoto Desu. Yeah, Connor loves it. I love yeah. Sakamoto yeah. Yeah. Exactly that, you know. Th where does that drive from? The core of that principle comes from the hostile mentality of being this, you know, superior, untouchable, fucking, you know, mm. almighty mm. being in the Japanese. Meanwhile, they're throwing up in the Matsuya parking lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After they've had a few one too many drinks. So, I mean, to pick your point. So Sakamoto doesn't show you. Yeah. <laughs> Sakamoto injecting but, steroids. But the, the core roots of the thing, you know, is, is the same. Yeah, mm. that's where yeah, I agree. Sure. Yeah. It's it's interesting because it's just so fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's but, like you you literally in life? yeah, but it's like it's just kind of crazy to think that there are people who literally put their life on the line to like maintain a facade because um, you know that's what gets them the money, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's, I mean it's not the only Japanese industry that does that. Right. I mean, you look at the fucking idol industry. You know, oh it's, yeah, it's, you God. Know, it's it's entirely based on like maintaining an image. Yeah. And dude, I'd say that's ten times more toxic, bro. You think so? Yeah. 
Yeah. Coming from, <laughs> coming from the I mean, host I mean, I mean it, it, says, it, says, it says a lot. It says, about, a, it says a lot when the host after, says that. After everything you said, I said today. I've heard, I've heard like some like horror stories. Oh no, I've, 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 oh, I've yeah, heard yeah, some, yeah, like, some absolute I mean, horror story, which is why I'm like, I don't th even think look, you're wrong yeah. in saying that after the stories my, I've heard. My, my psychology scenes. comes from this. And I think this also relates to, you know, other idol related industries that are still popping up to this day, mm -hmm. which is educating your audience. Mm -hmm. Right. Your audience is your main sort of income, right? At the end of the day. And within the idol industry, they're so strict about everything that the you know females do, the relationship they have with the boys or like any kind of interactions they have. Mm. Yeah. It's almost toxic. Mm. Yeah. But why does that even exist? That's because the industry standard is bred to be that way. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you have to educate your own audience so that you're more free, you're more open or willing to accept, you know, ra radical ideas into your business. Mm. If you but like, no yeah. one's no one's willing to take that risk. Yeah. Are they? Well, well the like, companies aren't. Like, no, 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 the companies are. Well, 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 like Asian dudes in suits, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> how are you gonna teach them new tricks, man? <laughs> 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 You're not gonna. <laughs> I get what you're saying. You, you just couldn't have said it in the worst way possible, you know? Like, <laughs> I guess you're, you're Asian, right? It's okay. You yeah. Look, I'm brutal in the way I carry myself forward. Well, I guess you have to be to survive as a host, right? Yeah. At times, like you I can't mean, generally as a businessman too, bro. My current job is mostly about convincing people to do shit that I want them to. Right. <laughs> Why make it sound so sinister? Yeah. Shit. I, this is one thing I promised myself not to do, to seem like a sinister fucking malicious bastard. <gasps> Well, I mean, like, the thing is, like, I get what you're saying, right? Because like, especially when it comes to the idol industry, where it's like, you know, industries don't want to take a, a stab at, like, a new idea. Because, again, it's, it goes back to that whole thing of, like, maintaining tradition, right? Yeah, maintaining yeah. this is how we've been doing it. It's been working so far. Let's do it. Idols can't fucking say anything because the moment they're like, um, I have a radical idea. Oh, they're no, like, no, all right, see you later. Bye-bye. Like, <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. nah, say bye to your career. Yeah, okay. Say goodbye. Yeah. And then if a fan says, uh, hey, maybe this is kind of fucked up, then the community gets on his yeah, ass yeah, and goes yeah, like, yeah, oh, exactly. get the fuck out then, right? So it's like, no one wins. There's no space for change until, yeah, as you said, like at the end of the day, you need to get like the entirety to be like, oh yeah, this fucked. Yeah, maybe we should change yeah, it. And that, that changes over time, you know, they, right. they can't, that can't be something that's done overnight. Mm. Yeah. But like at the same time, who's going to take that first step? Right. Cause it's, that's a massive risk. And the, the pioneers doing. of the business, bro. In whatever format that is, whether it's, you know, really I mean, you, th you I mean, think they want to risk everything that they've built up over time? <laughs> For just like <laughs> they're not yeah, gonna right? do that, right? That's that's the issue. That is that is unfortunately the issue. Unless you well, have someone like super smart, like again, like Roland, right? Yeah. Like I, I guess he's the great yeah, example. It, it takes a fucking person like Roland to really shake things up. Yeah. The, the like, example I want to give here is from Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> If you if you if you if you say believe it, I will actually smack you. Like <laughs> you did not just dead ass look me in the face and say that, Chad. No, no, do tell, no, do tell, no, do, tell. No. do tell. Don't lose hope on me yet, bro. No. Uh, okay, okay. So, explain yourself. You guys know Itachi, right? <sighs> yes, we know Itachi. <laughs> where, are Come on. Going? where are you going with Itachi? Where are you going with this? No spoilers. I'm trying to spoil it too much. If you haven't watched Naruto yet, <laughs> after all this time, fuck <laughs> you, honestly. I haven't watched Naruto. What? You guys know I haven't watched Naruto, right? No, we don't. What? How, how did you pop off on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> By not watching Naruto. <laughs> what did you do? What do you, well, you know what I did? You give me hope, bro. <laughs> Why me? You give me hope that in five years, maybe I can be like. <laughs> Why do you want to be like me? Well, no, you can't because you've seen Naruto. Nah, shit. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you have no maybe chance. Dilemma of life, huh? Yeah. Okay, so go on, tell us about Naruto then. Well, tell us about it. He Itachi. has no interest in yeah, ever he, watching Yeah, Naruto. he's, he's not going to care. You don't need to worry about Man, it. He's not going to care. I'm going to watch it. Can you guys refresh me on what the main topic of the argument <laughs> is? <laughs> you, you were you, about you, to give some life advice concerning Itachi. Yeah, and Naruto. And Naruto. But why though? A uh, pioneer or something? You, you are quite drunk. Aren't oh, you? Yeah, exactly. you finish. No, no, no. You finish it a little. Bro, little. Dude, guys, please be sure. Unless I get to this point. <laughs> okay. Sober as daylight. Tell us the story. <laughs> so basically, you know, Itachi sacrificed his whole life being for the greater good that he believed in. A shoe he had to fill in at an age that you know even he had no understanding or conscience about. Okay. Stop laughing, bitch. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. This. <laughs> 
Stop laughing, bitch. <laughs> Dude, it's so hard to sound smart when you're talking. What are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we laugh. That's why we're laughing. Bro. That's why we're laughing, Jan. We're laughing. You had to give like a countless historical figures who sacrificed yeah. their entire existence for a cause. And out of and all of them, you chose fucking Itachi, Itachi. from Naruto. <laughs> but he, no, he, he's very well suited, though. Oh, okay, okay, well, go on then. Go on. Make your point. So he's- <laughs> What's their point? <laughs> What's their point? <laughs> you just want to talk about <laughs> He sacrifices him, himself to, for the, the, for the point, greater bro? good of the family. I don't oh, fucking know, dude. You were the one who was like, bro, Itachi? Itachi though? <laughs> pioneer. We were talking about pioneers and who shake up the fucking industry. He sacrificed everything. And then yeah. you said Itachi sacrificed his or entire it, life. Exactly. So yeah. for example, in the Naruto verse, right? If Itachi didn't do what he did, nobody mm. would have come to the realization of, you know, the whole, like the dilemma of following the past <laughs> and continuing the path you do leading to the same outcome. Continuing the lineage, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Cause you know, the whole Sasuke people and the Naruto Uzumaki just, people. I'm sorry, Sasuke I'm sorry to interrupt. I just have this- You're talking about the Uchiha clan? Yeah, I'm talking about the, the woman sitting down in the football stadium, the guys in the ear like, <laughs> <laughs> this is you know, this is with the host club in their ears like, so they, when they- Yo, so get this, Itachi so, so sacrificed his life he's like, for the greater about, good. He's talking about how he fucking was like, you need life experience. He's like, so Naruto, right? <laughs> Bro, you won't believe so it, Naruto. right? So Naruto. So when he had the sand thing, he, threw, <laughs> he hit it, he took off the weights. It was insane, bro. He took them off and he just- He should have been there, bro. Bro, it so, was insane. So. It changed history. <laughs> okay, you know, so- Buy me a drink. <laughs> is, is this what you'd be telling the girls? Just talk about Naruto? Uh, no. <laughs> That's different than the Okay, case. yeah, so, so, so you were saying, so he sacrifices himself for the good of the Uchiha family. Exactly, and right. for the greater good, not even Uchiha, Uchiha family. The clan. He knew the clan, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I like Sasuke people. You yeah, Sasuke, Sasuke people, yeah. Is that what I said? Yeah. Yeah. The Sasuke I'm people. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. I'm so sorry. He clearly I, loves Naruto, yeah. I do, though. I honestly do. I fucking read the manga. Did you? You didn't? <laughs> Fuck you. So, you know, that, that's what I consider the, you know, like the core medium ass manga. If you haven't read the manga and you just watched the anime, mm. you, know, you, you, ain't, you ain't true fucking fan. <laughs> okay. In my book. So, you know, to those people who watch Berserk anime, didn't read the manga and you consider yourself a fan, <laughs> you better don't. I mean- Why are you going off on one about anime yeah. fans? So. <laughs> what happened to the life advice? <laughs> oh, yeah, so the life advice here is that, so if Itachi didn't take the path he did, we would have never reached the conclusion that, you know, like Chuwa Surikoto, yeah. You know, coming together to understand each other will be yeah. the solution. I know it's such a cheesy shit and, you know, Naruto gives you that, but, at the end of the day, that's what it came down to. Right. It, Itachi going to break that path. Right. All right. Listen, which listen led to companies. <laughs> so what so, you're saying is every industry needs an Itachi. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You might sacrifice yourself, your own being, your own career, but it's for the greater good of reaching, uh, you know. <laughs> A beautiful speech. Thanks, thanks for coming to his Thank TED you. talk. Uh, Itachi, yeah. yeah you buy him a drink Thank now. You. you have to buy him a drink now. <laughs> we all have to buy you a drink now for that life advice. Uh, no, no, not a me. champagne towel. Not a champagne no, no. towel. No. We'll buy you a normal drink yeah, at a normal I'm, bar. I'm waiting for you guys at my next birthday. <laughs> 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 Would you, okay, okay. Hypothetically, me, me right? Gant will be kicked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we can't, oh, we can't, oh, we can't, oh, we can't get in. So unfortunately it's only Joey, Joey, Joey. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, hypothetically though, would you even would you even accept if I if I did actually buy you a, a champagne towel? Fuck yeah, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought you were gonna be like a bro and be like, no, 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 no. no, no, no. You, you're no the, way, the way you shook your head, I was like, you were just like, no, no, no. fuck yeah, bro. No, fuck, <laughs> our, fuck our friendship, you know. Like, like, he wouldn't even consider it. <laughs> it never even popped into his head. Cause that happens a lot actually. What? 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 Um, like, the homies inviting their other homies yeah. to yeah. boost your numbers. And not just boost your numbers, but to drink with you. Uh -huh. As I said, a lot of the most successful hosts- Bro, this hosto, woman's boring as fuck, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, that's not the case. Cause as I said, most successful hosts, they're so busy in the evening that like, even if you're good homies, you don't get to drink with that guy. Right. So sometimes right. you're like, bro, Dude, this is enough is enough. I wanna, I wanna drink with you. You know, I'm with your club and you're like, yeah, sure, bro. Just pay the price and come over. This is like min maxing. Yeah, <laughs> min maxing social interaction. I get to hang now, out with right? my bros yeah. and I get paid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, usually what you do is the money they pay you that gets into your pocket, you kind of- 
give it back to them. In the next drinking, Nomika. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You pay for them. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. You, come on, you can't be a total social asshole. So right. what you're saying is if I bought you a Dom Perignon champagne tower for your birthday, you will happily say, hell yeah. But then you'd buy me drinks. On your birthday, day? I'll bro, fucking he's light it up, you, bro. He's gonna be paying you back for the rest of fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know how much that is. Yeah, right. They probably go for like like more than ten k, right? Like ten, maybe six digits, hundred k, some places. Are we talking JPY or dollars? Dollars. Six digits. Yeah. Is that like six? Oh, that's like Louis Martin kind of shit, bro. Like, so it exists. I mean, it does exist. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine spending a hundred thousand dollars on a dude for his birthday? No, I can't, I can't even we'll imagine see. spending $100,000. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Other than like a house that you're investing in or something. Right? Imagine you're the daughter of a billionaire, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Then yeah. what are you gonna do? Your life is all about spending money, waiting to marry the right guy. Yeah. Well, that's, you, a, that's, that's a totally different world. Yeah, that's we're not we're not the daughter of a billionaire. I know, I know, I know, but I'm just giving you a perspective. You yeah, another, another, another life maybe. No. Another yeah. life, yeah. Another yeah. life indeed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, so like you're starting a Twitch, right? Oh yeah, I am indeed. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, I you're mean, finally gonna have an internet presence. Yeah. Yep, indeed, yeah. finally, hopefully. Yeah, I mean like we've focused on the host aspect, but uh, Jan has a lot of varied stories in a lot of aspects in your life. It's yeah, he's not indeed. just he's not just an ex-host or yeah. I mean, ex-host. Freelance know. host now. You've done, you've done <laughs> a lot of shit and uh, we've been trying to convince him for the, for the longest time to start an IRL. Yeah. Stream. I mean, hopefully, whatever yeah. you want to stream. Yeah. I mean, know? hopefully, this Trash Days episode has proven that like Jan has the chops to be like a really interesting internet personality. I mean, you're a I fucking, feel. you're a fucking character. You are such I a fucking so character. You are so. such like, a character. Sometimes I'm just like, I just, I just need to like give you a mic and just let you talk and yeah. just like. <laughs> 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 I hope so, man. So you're starting a stream, right? Or a Twitch? Indeed, Sushi Kebab. Check it out on Twitch. What are you, what are you gonna do? Platform. Just play games or like well, do I'm not IRL really stuff? Planning or? on, I don't really wanna play games. Mm. So what I have planned is every Sunday, I wanna do something called Controversial Sundays. <laughs> where, <laughs> where I test the limits of Twitch and see how, how much- Bro, is you're gonna, gonna be banned so yeah, How much yeah. is it gonna take for me to ban on Twitch? That's what I wanna do on Bro, every you do, Sunday. You're doing a Twitch ban You actually wanna be banned? <laughs> if I do get banned, what the fuck's of it? Yeah, why not? Oh my God. <laughs> Look, I just want to get your dick out. What are you gonna <laughs> Yeah. What, what do I have to lose? I just want to have fun on Twitch, bro. I just want to have one. I want to. Like, the reason <laughs> I'm thinking of doing this- before you start. Yeah, yeah. Why, why are we promoting a Twitch channel that might get banned? So we can all have fun together. Oh my oh God. God. <laughs> Look, so all Christ. I want to do is talk about really fucked up subjects on Sundays. You know, get my take. If I can get any of your takes, that'll be great. But if you don't want to- oh, no, no, you no, are no, not no, getting no, out no, takes no, again. No, I'm going near no. this. I'm not sacrificing my career for you, Jan, but, you I'm know, sorry. But by suckling on this sweet teats of social clout that I'm getting from you guys, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I can get other smaller time people who want to call out with me to right. just talk about some fucked up subjects on Sundays. That'll be great. <laughs> Maybe you should have a, I think it's like X Hamster, I think. Yeah, you can live X, X Videos, I think, uh, is another good there. website, yeah. I heard Chatterbait has a really good yeah. Yeah. Has a really You, good you can talk service. about whatever the fuck you want there and not get banned, for sure. <laughs> live Leak is pretty good too. Yeah, Live Leak, yeah, that, that's a great I idea. mean, how fucked are we talking? I, I, I don't know, John. Yeah, I was expecting like a nice warm welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, when you said, when you told us that, when you, when you were like, hey guys, I, I, wanna, I wanna start a Twitch channel. I, you know, in my head, I was like, oh yeah, you know, like- You said you bought a yeah. PS5, what? Yeah. He's gonna play some games like any other person on yeah. Twitch. Bro, as I mentioned, to be a hostel, you have to distinguish yourself. This is someone on distinguish Well, so yourself. you can just go say the N word on a live show. No, <laughs> like, holy fuck, is that how your brain functions? <laughs> I, 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 I literally do you don't mean? know, like, yeah. You said you're, you said you're gonna try your hardest to get banned No, on I'm Twitch. gonna try my hardest to go towards the edge of getting banned and not banned. Okay, so one, I guess like one question to wrap up uh, this whole host club thing is like, because you said that the host club side of things has like grown massively in the far, past five, 10 years, whether that be because of Roland or not, you know, is up for debate. But like, as someone who, again, used to be in that and is in no longer in anymore, like where do you see it going in like the next five, 10 years? Like, will it become more mainstream? Or mainstream, as mainstream as it can be, or will it just be like forever this subculture thing? Difficult question because as you mentioned, Roland had a huge impact on the industry, right? right. Mm -hmm. He brought it to the mainstream. Mm. Right. But due to the current unfortunate situation that's surrounding the whole world, mm. um, you know, the intimacy of host clubs are really limited. Mm. So you mm. have to wear you know masks and you have to have like face barriers and stuff. Yeah, not, not yeah. very romantic, is it? Yeah. yeah, a lot of people are kind of not so 
yeah. incentivized to go to these clubs anymore. I mean, so. the whole like Cubby Control nightlife area just got absolutely fucked because of her. Yeah, right? yeah. exactly. Yeah. So that is a huge you know, obstacle. Mm. But a lot of you know places are finding their way around it. Mm. Uh, whether by doing like you know streams actually, so hostel club streams. Yeah. What? They're Where? <laughs> On like Where? Twitch and stuff, or, um, or on like Nico Nico and stuff on YouTube or huh. on YouTube. Yeah, host, host we're TV. gonna send us some links later. Yeah, I want to see these. Sure, bro. Yeah, yeah. So people are doing their own, but mostly like individual hostels are doing their own thing because right, right. they mm. do know that building your own brand is more important than building the company's brand. True, true. Mm. Yeah, mm. kind of like following in Roland's footstep. Like, I'm really glamouring this guy, but like he really, really had a huge impact on the whole industry, man. Right. Yeah. Know, the way he just brought in ideas mm. and showcased the world that the way he wants to do his business can actually be viable. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good answer. <laughs> really <laughs> left on like a somber note, right? <laughs> on that note, go and check him out. Just kind, of trailed, yeah, just kind of trailed off. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, there's a huge potential in the future, though. That's yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, of course, of course. It's not going to dwindle away. No, I don't that's think so. That's for a fact. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming on. <laughs> this, this has was, been a very, this has been a wild ride. Right? This has been a very interesting episode. Yeah, it's uh, the, the, the past way, ten minutes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, where can people find you on Twitch? Right? What's your username on Twitch? Or on Twitch, Twitter. Yeah. Um, oh, is it all the same on yeah. Twitch and Twitter? Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. What's the other one? The prominent that people use? YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah, everything is sushi kebab, <laughs> guy. Sushi okay. kebab. Sushi kebab. Cause oh. I, 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 when you say it's, it's like oh. sush kebab and I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sushi kebab, the reason, half Japanese, half Turkish. And you're <laughs> a guy. Fuck, and I'm a guy, so sushi kebab guy. You can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, go brilliant. check him out, yeah. I guess. Uh, links in the description and uh, look at all these patrons. Yeah, yeah. So many of them, look at all of them. Who's, who's your favorite? Your, who's your favorite? Oh, that guy right there. Who, oh, he's passed away. Who, who, who would you buy a drink for? No one. Who, who, uh, who does, does, anyone, you buy them a drink. Who deserves the champagne tower? <laughs> anyone that has a name that's said with A and X. Why? Okay. Why? Well, I don't know, just random time. <laughs> well, hopefully there's an ax out there. Yeah, yeah hopefully, yeah. yeah. Ax is like, yeah! <laughs> you deserve a huge hug and a kiss from me. <laughs> Mind you, he has finished a half a bottle of gin. Uh, by myself, because these pussy ass bitches didn't want to gin with me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, if you, uh, if you want to support the show, yeah. make sure to go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash days. Also follow us on Twitter, send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. Go check out Jan. And uh, thanks for coming, dude. Oh. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much for coming me, on. Man. Thank you for having pleasure. me. Pleasure. Come on. Come here, man. A pleasure. Come a pleasure. 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 <laughs> pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, pleasure. Business God, your hands are so cool. Yeah, what the, yeah. What the <laughs> hell, man? I know, I know. <laughs> um, can, can, can I stick it in this too? Because, you what? know, you, you promised this. Um, when this episode is coming out, or right after uh -huh. it comes out, yeah. me mm. and Connor, we'll be doing a React episode on Twitch. Oh, are we going to react to it? Yes. All right, exactly. I guess we'll react to it. We'll react to it. All right. Oh my God. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>